Oh, howdy doody. Oh, hello. I just realized that my camera... Oh, that's fair. Look, I'm Floaty Geek Delf. I'm Floaty Geek Delf. I can go everywhere I like on the screen. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just pick the right object there, because if I move there, we go. Ooh. Over there. There we go. Let's put me down. See, I've got a bit of floaty going on. So, as you can tell... You can't see... Well, you can see my hands now. <laughs> but you can't see the rest of me. And I have no chair in the background as well. We've kind of um, managed to green screen that as well. Few of the horrible nightmares, yeah. See, there is a script I know I can set within um, XSplit. I can get it to do... Basically, I could move the camera around slowly. But it moves around it to various points of the screen. And get it to flip and all sorts. So it gets to one side. And then it could... Hang on, let me just... See if I can get it to do that. Let's just. Woo! Woo! <laughs> whip, 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 whip. Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> oh dear, so we could do that all day long. But we're not gonna. There we go. Let's move that back over there. There about that was a bit of oh. somebody else has got a uh, <laughs> grumbly grumbly. <clears throat> oh, they've got a little Mumak as well, but they've got the non-battle one. There's Mumak. How do you do anyway? Uh, how do you fell on? How do you magic? How do you rowing down? Meatballs in. There we go. So there's eggs with some skills. Hey, doing hack. He's <laughs> eggs with some skills. At... There he is. Oh, look, see. There we go. Eggs beating Hathi, the other little Mumak. They are indeed noisy. Absolutely. Noisy. Uh, right, so what the hell was I doing? Ah, I know what I was going to do. I was going to head back to Ered Mithrin. Because I wanted to get the Scar Hold uh, port. Annie Ramos, good evening, my dear. How are you? Hey, well. Did you see any hunky, hunky, chunky um, postman today? That's what I need to ask did you. I was out on my rounds. I was on delivery today. But, uh, you know, you, you might not might not have recognised me without the hat on, to be fair. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, no, nope, definitely didn't see anybody like that. Nope. Ah, you've been at work, no posted. That narrows it down to a few thousand houses then. <laughs> Didn't get any posted there. <coughs> ah, good, good. Well, I hope you enjoyed your day at work. Most people don't. Yeah. Look at Hark, he's in already after the heist. <coughs> Indeed. Come on, Baz. Come on, Baz. Work it out, dude. Been here long enough. Right, here we are. Yep. So, we need to go back into here. We such a little grumbler. Little legs. Uh, we want to speak to them for bar tonight. There is much ah, to be you done. see. Oh, we can get yarn fast and scar held here. That's handy. Right, FFR. FFR. In for a free for all. Right, so we can get to Yarn Fast for five. Fine, we'll battle for that. We'll return to Scarhald. We'll battle for that one. Oh. Like that. We'll go with that. Uh, and that should. Yep. Giving us that one. Let's put it down there. Right, we don't want Yarn Fast in. I'm not really bothered about Yarn Fast, but Scarhald. Is idea. 
Uh, put that down there. Point that over there. Point that over there. Put that up. All right. Uh, Annie, don't worry about take your coins. I always give out a load of coins prior to us starting um, the races on Wednesday. Um, so don't worry, you, you'll you'll have plenty to, to earn. Um, and I think, to be honest with you, you've probably got a fair amount anyway, I would have thought by now. Being a sub, uh, as well as uh, being in the channel. Original funds here as well. You know, my viewer list on my bot takes forever to actually bloody thing. Oh, everybody did went without a hitch in the heist. <laughs> you know, yeah, you don't enter, and do you know what happens? Everybody does it without a hitch. It's 4,000. You got 4,819, Annie. And don't worry, I'll dish out a load more um, uh, coins to everyone before we do. Do you know what? Do you know what? Actually, hang on. Make it rain. Oh. There we go. Everybody gets 500. See, that's what I do. I, do, I give out at least 500. <sighs> Who will emerge victorious from the... There's a sandstorm of eruption. And I win! Oh, I'm on a winning streak tonight. <laughs> ah, yes. But 4 DNF do wipe that. However, uh, don't worry. Uh, we'll make sure that people don't have any. Uh, we'll have enough coins. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, he's gone offline and then come online. So, yeah, he's... Uh, He's struggling to get on, I think. To connect. Right, so we can get to Scarhold again now. I just love this music. It's so epic. Da, da, da. Da, da. Oh, yes, you're on your Guardian, aren't you? Yeah, I forgot. You're on Evernight as well with that Guardian as well. Because I have you tagged. There you are. You're in Bree. Level 16 Guardian. They have you tagged now. I know your Guardian. Glad I've got everybody that uh, uh, you know that little knob that had a pop at me, Winter Star. He's still only level nineteen. I think he was about eleven, twelve, level eleven, twelve when he had a pop at me. I'm going to go to the SSG offices and do not realise who I am. You don't know who I am. <laughs> Fuck off, you little prick. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh dear, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Yeah. Yeah, man. As I said, it's part of the game. You are allowed to um, go to these places. Oh, that's, wow, that's cool. They actually put a hole in that tent there. Be part of my guardian through it as well. So obviously, that's transparent texture. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Right, so we've acquired that skill. We've got that skill. We've got that. Uh, actually, what I'll do is... I uh, saw level 19 from your kin last night. He had some real sparkly, fancy clothes on. Ooh, can you remember the name? <laughs> I think it'll be level 19. Level 19. Let's have a look. See what we've got on the level 19 in the kinship. So, I mean, it could be a level 20 now, but if, uh, three hours ago, there's the roaming medic, whoever that is. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's Doc. Uh, Doc Lees. Um, let's see, actually, somebody who's been on the last... Uh, <coughs> oh, it could be Arthur Dane. That is... Was he another guard in him? Uh, Arthur Dane. Arthur Dane. He was a level 19. Uh, that is Stockbeam. Um, who you'll see in the streams from time to time. He's all the way from uh, America. Da, 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 da. Ah, Arthur Dane, yeah. Yes, he's uh, he's a low level guardian as well. So, yeah. So, excellent. Right, now, I've got all the rep I need here. Right, let's open. Ooh, so, Silver Hobbit. Silver Hobbit. What we're going to get today. I got basic shit yesterday. You going buff? You're going buff. I'm going to go boosting gift. I th I'm going confident. I'm going middle for diddle. Boost and gift. I, I, I think I won't get anything above boosting gift. 
So let's see. We got basic supplies again. <laughs> Every, fucking Every fucking time. Uh, actually, you're quite spawny. I reckon you're going to get the uh, buff. You are quite lucky. Oh, you got basic. Uh, you got shit on as well by the Hobbit gifts. Little bastards. Hobbits. We're all little bastards. <laughs> uh, right, so... Um, right, I need to now get back to... Um, yeah. I need to get back to Mordor Besieged. That's a fine. Do I have a skill to get back to Mordor Besieged? Yeah, but I'm not there. I'm at Yarn Fast. Um, oh, I think I might be getting a summon by a captain called Lewis. He must have heard me. You must. There we go. Cheers, Lou. He must be in chat, uh, but not there yet. Miss Routini's in as well. Meatball's in. Yeah, he's not showing yet on the old viewer list, but... Um, cheers, Lou. There he is. <laughs> Thanks, old bean. I just thought I want to come here because I wanted to remember I got the reputation, so I wanted the travel skill. So I thought I'll do that first, and I thought, how the fuck did I get that? So I don't need. I can change my milestone, you see, which is handy, handy dandy. Da -da. Excellent, just where I need to be. There you go. I'm not too sure if you've already danced me, but I've just danced you anyway. <laughs> Uh huh. Excellent. So Adam Bell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, snooze you lose. Snooze you lose. Right, milestone. I'm just going to set it to here temporarily. <clears throat> right, so let's set that there. Oof. There we go. There's Lou. <laughs> Hey, what that that is actually working quite well, I think. Chill, isn't it? So you're kicking out some chill. You know what I think it is? I think it's because it's on your legs. Rather than up in there. Well I just bought um because in here when I've got my PC and it's streaming and it's kicking out shit ton of heat, because it does. <clears throat> We've got Magic's PC doing the same. I've got lights. Tend to have to keep the window shut because sometimes we get bugs in late at night and all that kind of crap. I actually went and bought an air cooler today, which uses water to try and chill things down. Now, it's not as good as a, um aircon unit, but an aircon unit costs hundreds of hundreds of pounds and makes an absolute freaking racket. <clears throat> well, this thing we bought from Screwfix for, I think it was 70 quid, something. Yeah, 70 quid. Uh, <clears throat> literally, you fill up the back of it with chilled water. Or if you don't have chilled water, you put um, normal tap water in with um the ice blocks you know that you get into you can put into freezers uh <coughs> excuse me and uh we've been testing it for about the last three hours i think uh, about quarter past five we started didn't we some so about two and a half hours and it is quite chilly in this room i mean we, we've only been streaming for like 20 minutes but you know um we, we're not noticing we're actually feeling a bit of chill on the old legs because it is whapping around our, our legs. So um, we're going to see how it goes. I know we don't get too many hot days. However, this is a very hot room. So if anybody's wondering why the cat... I've just got the floaty head. <laughs> just so I've got the green screen. I've hidden the green on the chair. And uh, so we've just got the floaty head going on today. But I've still got hands. Yay. Just got no arms. Arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's our... Uh, oh, hang on. Just, why's that not moving? Yeah, hang on. He's not wanting to move. <laughs> like I said, I could make it very weird and put the microphone out of the way, but I'm not too sure on the audio levels how that um, how that actually is picked up. So. You're not wrong, Lewis. <laughs> Dick nuts. Um. 
Yeah, faithless. I mean, it's just, uh, as we were just discussing, it gets so hot in here. Look up all your clothes. <laughs> I wasn't asking, you know, it was just, it was just a line from the, you know. I just feel like I've just totally not uh, attached to my, um, to anything now. It's just bouncing around. Now, the only thing that's going to look a bit weird is if I make my uh, webcam disappear, because I'm not going to disappear off the bottom. See, I'm going to disappear halfway down. You watch, watch. There we go. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you don't, are you? <laughs> yeah, like a Mario pipe, yeah. Uh, right, all oh, right, yeah, yeah, you want oh, what do you, Somebody asked me this the other night to do this, didn't I? Actually, let me just change my gear because then you might actually see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's go on. Oh, no, I don't want that one. I want the outfit too. There we go. Put that on and then we'll show that outfit there. There we go. Right, here we go. This is going to take a little bit of lining up. I don't know where this is going. Let me just resize myself because I'm a little, little bit on the big side there, aren't we? No, no, no. A little bit on the big side in comparison to his head. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Mind you, that's my neck and his neck. Maybe it's alright now. Uh, spam stops in here. Pick up. My head needs to be a little bit bigger, apparently. Gone to. Uh, gone to. Gone to her indoors. Oh, hang on. I can't. Oh, stop moving, spam. Stop moving. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Hey, this, this could be quite funky. Oh, you want to see me in the present? Right, okay. Uh, gotta send the dwarf. Oh, yeah, the dwarf. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is a little bit more like my angle. Um, yeah, um, oh, you wanted to see me in the present in the box, didn't you? Uh, hang on. Uh, like these things I do for my viewers, you know, they just don't appreciate what I do. Yeah, cool. Uh, right. See, this is going to be a problem if I put this outfit on because I've got a stupid hat and I kind of, the box is, Where I get the problem because I have to do it randomly. Hey, if we do that, that's <laughs> Back over it. Oh, see the, just see my tip, tip of my microphone. You can just see my tip. I want to see that. Just the tip. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, <here's, laughs> your wallpaper confirmed. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I expect to be made out with a meme. How are you doing, Tetra? Oh, yes, we've just been having fun changing me into all sorts of different things. I see. Yeah, let me. I need to resize my head again, don't I? A little bit on the small side there. There we go. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Let's have, let's have Floaty McFloaty head over there. There we go. Right. So, uh, let's see. It's about time we went back to Rabbit Mask. There we go. A screensaver and a Christmas card. You don't want much, do you? I probably am, to be fair, in some shape or form. 
quite expect more. <laughs> uh, wow, everybody's in. Axe in, Ferland's in, Annie Ramos is here, Faithless, Keeper Else, Lewis the Blob, Magic and Tobacco, Metal Brew, Original Hun, and Rowan Than. Then we have Meatballu, uh, Miss Routini, Mr. Wolfie TV, Mug Shifter, how are you doing, my friend? Scum Shop and Wackavel. Wackavel. Right, so I'm back here. Excellent. Okay. Then I can. Here. Go to Asha. Ashad Wheel. Where the hell's the stable master? Uh, sorry, Estelard Lan. Let us not, Terry. And then I can hand in reputation already. Start leveling that rep. Aha! I mean, I'll, I'll, don't get me wrong, I'll have plenty of time to put other rep, but I might as well start it while I'm here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Space. Hang on, tasks. Expedition cancelled. Yes, get rid. Expedition cancelled. Yes. Expedition cancelled. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the thing. Get Right, so if I go to my shared storage, bring up that reputation watch. If you want to be a record breaker. So we, Mimi McMimi Pants, needs Fractal Lances, Filth, Furs, Skins. Right, Fractal Lances. Oh. Uh. Tufted ears, I don't think I have. There's... Oops. I'm sure some one of my characters has got a shit ton of these already. In filth, yep. Yeah. There. There. Filth. Ah, quite like it. <laughs> I'm on the go. Um, might touch spurs not today. Often skins do have uh, tufted ears. I don't have so built often skins. Quite like often skins. Set them. Um, them in there. Right, lances. Right, all this other stuff. How's it? Just filth. Pebbles, filth. I can put it there. Stonewall, spurs. I had deadly claws. Yeah, I'm just putting them in. I'm trying to nick everything. <laughs> She's like, oh, I need them. I need them. Yeah, get off. Fine. Uh, with there. Uh, wolf made sword sheets. There. Uh, the deer. Fired. Tufted ears. Tufted ears. Tufted, I tell you. Tufted. Three pills. Ooh, did you survive? Bollocks, I died. How very rude. How is everyone anyway? Are you all happy as Iggy Poo? Are you all tickety boo? Are you all fantastic? -yo? If not, why not? I'm sure watching me will make all the difference to you. Right, so we've got the stuffs I need. That means I can. And then, a bit like crackers. Oh. He bestowed. Oh, wow. I've just uh, completed the Eager Beaver. Yeah, Cloak of the Eager Beaver. So it's four of 400. I've actually just unlocked the five, four of 500. Wow, hot shop cloak. That means I can do 10 of it. Oh. 
Got the upgrade token. Ah, see, that's quite handy. I didn't realize that that little token was bound to account. But when you get that, you can give that to somebody else. You know, the upgrade token. You don't have to use it on the character that... That I am actually going to give to... Um, uh, Gazbo. Uh -uh, I'm going to actually stick. Uh, Envy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just purged it. <clears throat> and whatever you do, hon, change that. <laughs> uh, right, so cloak of the beaver. All done it. Currently happening, yep. I um I did that into our kinship Discord <laughs> with my account. I was like, yep. Oh shit. Not where I thought it was. I thought it was my password for um Lotro that I was typing it in, but I wasn't. I was still typing it into Gnome's Discord. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's really weird, and I think it's because when you load the launcher, it doesn't automatically take focus. Um you can get low characters and then get them a bit past these then delete characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, when the launcher loads, it doesn't automatically take focus. Um, so, obviously, you think you're there. It's flashing is the cursor, so you start typing, not realising that you've just been in um, uh, <laughs> your Discord. Yeah. And then you think, why haven't I logged in? And then you think, I've just typed it. And then you think, hang on, where have I typed it? And then you look up and you go, oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah. That's quite cool. I can plunk that in there. We can over there. Time being. Into my vault space. There we go. Here we go. Checking that in there. Gear stuff. Ooh, of course, I'm 123 now. I can start lobbing gear on. 400 stuff. There we go. Look at that dwarf mogul reclaimer steel ring. Boom. Now I'm going to hit hard, bitches. <laughs> mogul reclaimer's light resistance crit. Look at that. that. I mean, look at that difference straight away. A 123 armor set. Three times the armor. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm putting that bad boy on. Oh, that's going into there. Uh, sabaton. Okay, I haven't got anything else. Like Some sabatons I can put on. Yep. Finesse and crit. Oh, they're quite nice. Them apparition. So, so. I mean, uh, skirmish's cloak, the vitality parry tactical mitt. Uh, yeah, why not? Keep that. Uh, right, so that's a one, two, one. The earrings so that mogul reclaimer steel one. I'm definitely putting that one on. That is definitely. Let's see if it drags out with the bag. There we go. Everything's a little bit slow tonight. Uh, right, so that one definitely going on. That's getting lobbed. That's kind of useless now. Wow, I'm up to 126,000. That was 98,000. Now I'm up to 126,000 on the uh, morale. <laughs> oh. Um, right, the reclaimers talk. Yup, that's going on. Eventually. There we go. Now, that's lots of enchantment. That's just bound to me, so I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that as well. <clears throat> right, the earrings. Yeah, that's going on. <laughs> I mean, I, I could have got this gear at 
around now anyway because of the item level so it's not like um uh, i've kind of skipped a lot of stuff or anything yeah there oh see that's bound to account that reinforced heavy so go into there that fantastic heavy cloak can go into there as well that's bound to spam that's obviously my stuff so that's all right right so that's going on there that's getting deconned because that's bound to um, the other earring. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Eventually. Oh, that can get deconned because that's bound to spam. One hundred and thirty-six thousand morale now. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. He looks like a bit of a twat though in his gear. To be fair, bit of a mish mishmash. To be honest. I mean, that's how he knows me. I look a bit of a twat. Love you too. Bitch. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Are you moving? Yep, he has eventually. Damn. Right, scar held thing. Set to there. So that's not a bad one with the tactical mitt, but it's going. Um, uh, uh, 400. That's agility, no good for me. The braces. Need to take that across. Another bracer. That's got block on it. That was my agility and crit. While I'm leveling, I will utilize these eventually. So that can, yeah, put that down there, and then that one, one, two, two, vitality, physical mastery, yes, yeah, see, I'd lose physical mastery, but I'd gain a shit ton of crit, whilst not ideal, we will put that on to our other pocket, okay, is there. Right, is there anything else then? So that there, the 400, don't want that. More might, 400, that's a 400 physical mastery. Nope, we don't need that one. That other ring, that's a parry, but I've got physical mastery in that, so that's high beyond that one. That's got the block. Uh, so yeah, I think that's kind of bumped us up quite nicely there. I'm just checking. Their 130s, really what we're going to need. That could be quite nice for later on. Might vitality crit, but 30s, so. Do not want to minimize that one, if I'm honest. Uh, their 130s, that's ready and waiting. Finesse, Sentinels, Stud, Agility. Not really on this character. That one's quite nice, though. The Protector's Silk Steel Ring of Twilight. Mitality? Wow. That's Vite and Mitality. Uh, in tactical mitigation, incoming healing and parry. Quite ideal, I would have thought, for a um, a Guardian. <laughs> so that has boosted us up to a grand total of 135,000, nearly 136,000. I've gone up 40,000 morales, nearly. <laughs> Bloody hell, keep us in for the heist now. Everybody's up for the heist. Feeling a little bit left out or something. Need to nick all my coinage. Um, right, so there we go. That is Fan Dabby Dozy. Now, what we need to do is actually get rid of these little. Uh, a bit laggy tonight. Laggy, 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 laggy. laggy. Ah, well, yeah, to be fair, there, there is that as well. <laughs> That's okay. I can only sell that. I can only sell that. The on that can be on about there. So these others I just need to sell. The large. Okay. Not a problemo. That's stop. Sell. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
Um, right, so we'll pick up these again. Oop. Now, the, the pain in the ass one is the, the Great Alliance because there's only one task that you can hand in with it. Uh, if, uh, if I've done some Midsummer Question in Minas Tirith, do they count on other characters asking if because the Guardian's done something and never been there with him? Shouldn't. Uh, there aren't in Minas Tirith, they're in Bree, Shire, and Eri Lewis. The ones that gives you the Kaya bits of the craft with. Uh, okay. A bit like Fatland. There we go. So this is, well, bringing us through some of the Great Alliance already. Great Alliance already. How am I kindred with the Great Alliance already? How the hell am I kindred? Where do ooh, I mean the White Company are down there? But Great Oh, a Great Alliance is that from? Well, the BC's Keepy has just spoken the word garbage. Ah, yeah, there's Lewis. Yeah, good day. More well, BC's. Garbage is a secret word for keeper a loss. Boom, 500 geek coins to that man. Garbage. You know what? That was rubbish. Well. Didn't work. Right. Find the word garbage. Where there's muck, there's brass. In Yorkshire. Where there's muck, there's Eleventh secret word for Keepy, according to the adjudicator over there. Not, she's not called Judy, by the way. Eleven. And Hark's on eleven as well. Ooh, competitive. Right. That's. Right, that, oh, legendary reforge as well. Boom, boom. Oh, oh that one dud. Reforge. Oh. Yep, she does, she does indeed. She keeps the list. If you name is on the list. <laughs> There we go. So that's uh, that's handy. Quite good. That's... Mm. Carry that. How does that give actually block rate? Block it. Never damage. Yep. Yeah. Pink. The time Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Ooh, update. Tomorrow. Ooh. Let's have a look at this then. Oh, it's like, ooh, bit of reading to do. Right. Update 27.2 release notes. Here are the release notes for update 27.2 on Tuesday, August the 4th. So, downtime tomorrow then. Downtime on a Tuesday. Wow, Mrs. Thing. Aliosa, you and Smashville Dad, you get a freebie. Towel gets a freebie. Wow. Do your Twitcher. Hope you was a plenty. Hope you was a plenty. A prime to your Twitcher. Hope you was a plenty. Hope you was a plenty. There we go. And that actually does put you into first place for the gifting You're actually taken over from lone wolf wow wow now the problem i have 
Yes, I'm well through my VIP limit. So, <laughs> there's an issue now. Is I never expected <laughs> to ever have this many VIP subs. <laughs> my VIPs are people who've subscribed. Um, so when I actually updated, because of all you wonderful people typing like maniacs into chat to unlock all the slots, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it as it is for the time being. Over time, so obviously certain people will, will kind of disappear off the VIP list because of not continuing subscriptions, etc, etc. So we'll leave it as it is. Um, no, you, you're not hack. Well, technically you are, but you're because you're a moderator, you don't get the VIP. Uh, and Mrs. Thing, you are absolutely staying on there. You are not. Uh, see, you've got the number one box now. You've got the number one box. <sighs> yeah, to be honest with you, Furlon and Hark. I mean, Hark's a, a, a VIP. Uh, Furlon as well. Uh, these guys have been uh, around for a long, long time uh, and subscribe. Well, all the time. Um, so, uh, Mrs. Thing, thank you very much. You got the number one box. You are now Chief Honcho when it comes to gifts, sub gifters of subscriptions to the channel. So, uh, but uh, congratulations again. Um, and, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Confetti for Mrs. Thing. There we go. Right, Mrs. Thing. A bit of dramatic music in the background there. Eh? <laughs> so, Smashville Dad. Um... Yeah, towel, towel as well, and also uh, Aliosa. Um, there you go. You are now official subscribers through the generosity of Mrs. Thing, formerly the artist known as Miss Thing, until she got married about three days ago. <coughs> two days ago? Yeah. Saturday. Well, technically, yeah, about two and a half days. Yeah, two and a half days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baz is like. Gonna kick ass him, you know, if you know, touches his thing. But uh, uh, thank you very much. Wow, that is phenomenal. It's, it's amazing. Miss, Mrs. Thing, I, I, I feel like, um, I feel very humble that you would give out so many gift subscriptions. And uh, thank you very much for doing so. And uh, I, I apologize if I freak anybody out with my floating head. Uh, you know, in, in the stream, you know, not <laughs> anything else. Floaty geek. A floaty geek. I think I missed a thing. Ah, you, you might have done actually. You missed a thing here. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry, Chris, Chris, there's Chris. Chris is after me now. He's just like, yes. You know, you, you know when, when my friend Chris was like, um, <laughs> was like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Not got any time. You know, you, you got all this. That, you know, you can't do this. You got to do him. Um, he's like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, ba -ba -ba you've probably all seen this conversation behind my head now yeah. <laughs> so I don't think I can tell the stream about <laughs> uh, but yeah Mrs. Thing formerly Miss Thing and we did actually have the name change as well we had the official name change uh, from Miss to Mrs. Um, did indeed get married on Saturday and uh, hopefully she enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. well, apparently, I can tell the stream, yeah, get stuffed. And that was from my friend Chris. Because <laughs> he just says, has he got any time? Because he obviously wants to uh, have a conversation about something that he doesn't know how to do. You know, all the, uh, all, you know, the guy with all the gear. Oh, see, so I'm just going to sell all the gear. And no idea. There we go. Um, so yeah, the, he's just like he's probably saying, "You got any time? I, how do I do this?" You know, he's like, <laughs> "Probably, probably he might be asking you in a minute." <laughs> yeah, there we go. It might actually just be to do something in the game. So, it might be. Well, I don't, he shouldn't need anybody really because he can get pointed around anywhere. But uh, right, I need to. Get out of here. Chris James. Oh, you get are you getting rid of a hobbit? Hobbit hunter. Oh, by the way, that's just reminding me. Race, race, race change. Race it. Wednesday. This Wednesday, so not tomorrow, on Wednesday evening, we are gonna be doing Dream Racer. Yes, exactly. Estimation about race. 
Um, oh, right, yes. I'll go back to the trip. Fuck, everything's going on. What's this? He's going on. Hang on. Uh, somebody in these uh, tenements, what's the quickest way and scores of empowerment? Oh, the. Yeah. Um, either off or grind dailies in in a series on new characters. Yeah, he's just asking how to get the quickest way to get the uh, empowerment scrolls. Uh, says it's basically either off the auction house or grind dailies in Minas Tirith on a few characters. You can probably get 10 off about three characters in a day. Yeah, that's probably the quickest way. It's going to take you probably about an hour, an hour and a half, depending upon all your characters. All oh, right, okay. Uh, no. No, you don't. Uh, it's a plugin, basically. It's a plugin, uh, and I don't think yours is installed. Oh yeah, I'll oh, get your wallet out. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what Chris has done, to be fair. But uh, so Racker runs a ministry. There is notes for lower tiers. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I think uh, they're at. I just tried to clarify, basically, for um, um, I'll just um. Apparently. Oh, so it's all kicked off now. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, um, all akimbo. <laughs> I didn't drink my cup of tea yet. I'm still drinking my tea. Ugh, slightly blech. <clears throat> ah, Halo. See, as he's saying, come and play Halo. Play Halo. Play Halo. I want you to play Halo. Uh, hello to you too. Ah, very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Hello to you too. Right. So, where were we? Fuck. Where were we? Where were we? Update twenty-seven point two. There we were. That's what we were doing, wasn't it? Right. So this is going to be released tomorrow. So presumably there's downtime tomorrow. <laughs> uh, probably the usual time, approximately midday UK, uh, until maybe about four or five o'clock ish. Um, right, so of special note, um, Helm's Deep arrives to the legendary world. So, experience the finale of Rohan's epic story in the beginning of All Out War in Middle Earth. The legendary worlds of Arnor and Ithil now have a level cap of 95, in addition to the Helm's Deep expansion. The case to find out more about the legendary worlds, which are available for free to all VIPs. Note that Helm's Deep also utilizes the story detail systems introduced in update 27, which is a soloable story focused alternative to an epic battle. I think that's a very good change, actually. I do I've never done these storied ones yet, but I think it is a very good change. Some people do struggle with I mean, some of those bloody epic battles are an absolute bar steward. Um depending upon what character you take in there. Um, so each of the five Helm's Deep epic battles now has a story tale. Uh, fight for Rohan's survival, unearth the depths of Grima Wormtongue's treachery, unravel a mystery woven through the war-torn Western net, and defend the fortress of Helm's Deep. Uh, players cannot explore West Rohan, its once serene fields now aflame and pillaged by gruesome servants of evil. Heroes are needed to stand in this time of danger. Mm, some people are going to be introduced, in, uh, interested in this one. Rohan housing is now available. So tomorrow, the new Rohan housing instance is going to be available. So Lord of Rings Online is expanding its premium player housing options. Ooh, so premium. It's a premium house. Yep, that's coming tomorrow, Miss Thing. Mrs. C, I'm calling you Miss Thing. That's just wrong. Mrs. Thing. I'm going to call myself Dick, Dick Nuts. Nuts. Dick Nuts. Mrs. Thing. Uh, it's premium player housing options with a new homestead set in Rohan. These new homesteads evoke two quintessential Rohan experiences, Kingstead Meadows and Eastfold Hills. Kingstead Meadows features living on a grassy plain and farmlands, while Eastfold Hills features living in the rugged and wooded foothills. 
Each neighborhood has an assortment of deluxe style properties, along with two unique properties a large mead hall and a deluxe style property with an extra interior. The Rohan housing brokers are also selling over 50 new housing items purchasable with in game gold. Ooh. Now in game gold. That is not. Otro points. So you can buy shit. Well, you'll be able to get shit with your lottery points as well, I'm sure. But there'll be stuff in-game as well. But that's to entice you to go get them. Because you have to buy the house. Yeah, housing writs. <clears throat> um, so, yes, two two uh, neighbourhoods. Two different neighbourhoods. Um, right. There we go. So the Rohan browsing, browsing hawkers. <laughs> the Rohan housing brokers. We're also selling over 50 new housing items. Purchasable with in-game gold. Rohan housing is available to purchase with mithril from Rohan housing brokers named Berginda and Sellerflad in Edras and Snowborn, as well as the Eastfold Hills and Kingstead Meadows homesteads. So that is Rohan housing is available to purchase with mithril. Okay, so that's mithril coins. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, right, hitching posts. So these are the features of the homesteads. Uh, a new hook that allows you to show off mounts from your collection. Cosmetic pets. Cosmetic pets can be hooked on most interior and exterior hooks. Movable light sources. These new hooks allow players to light rooms they want the way they want. That's nice. At fire pit hooks, this is a new and uniquely sized hook. The Rohan meat holes. Column hook. The column hooks act like a wallpaper option with columns within the new ho Rohan meat holes new per house storage this is a new housing storage option that is separate from shared housing storage Ooh. Um, uh, oh see chris has just asked me to go to the kin house on my hunter hang on two bins uh right let me just log out i'll just go on my <laughs> yeah he does he's just He's probably he probably just wants to flex. He's probably just kicking out so much DPS. He wants to just make my hunter cry. Yeah, well, he's needy. When he wants something, he's always needy. Um, why did that not log out? There we go. Log out. Uh, right. So there's that. Yeah, yeah. Housing option is separate from the shared. Yes. Uh, kinship visit feature. Players can designate a primary residence and allow their kinmates to visit from the kinship panel. Oh, no. Um, multiple interiors. Each kingstead homestead has a main house and a barn, and both neighbourhoods have a single homestead of a unique additional interior. Uh, neighbourhood reputation. Roma, Rohan homesteads are the first homesteads to each have their own reputation. Ooh. So, neighbourhood reputation. So, if you're a bit of a dick... I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so where homeowners can advance their neighbourly notoriety in the community while unlocking new housing items and players' titles. So if you could, you could possibly get an ASBO in your own... Um... Now, an ASBO is what we have in the UK called uh, Antisocial Behaviour Order. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lewis might have a no thing to go about these. Um, uh, cosmetic Pets purse house storage and the kinship visit feature are available for every home while other features above are exclusive to Rohan housing ah you see that's clever hey we want you to buy another house spend little coins I tell you what uh, so link available tomorrow to read more about the Rohan housing yeah they don't want they don't want the grief tonight but when people actually realize how much it costs for a Rohan house so, ooh, class changes and a lot of class changes. Uh, right, so news and notes for the classes. Bjornings. So anybody playing a Bjorning, listen up. A Bjornings opening a Valar weapon pack 120 will now receive a bow instead of a one-handed sword. Now, Key, uh, Lewis and Baz, I know you've got Bjornings, so you'll have to tell me if this is any good because I've got a bloody Valar 120 Bjorning ready to pop out. Uh, pop out he says something like he's giving birth so you get a bow instead of a one-handed sword is that any good 
Uh, Thunderous Roar's base cooldown has been reduced to 45 seconds. The legendary item set bonus cooldown reduction has been reduced to minus 15 seconds maximum. Oh, right. Yeah, so that, that's good. So you, can, you can actually use a bow for pulling that. That's, that's good then. <laughs> if you can't use a sword, that was a bit stupid. See, if they knew that that was a problem with the Valar pack, why have they kept it like that for so long? If you can't use a sword, that to me is a bit the right. The legendary item set, but yeah, so that's missing fifteen. The tier five of opposing presence now adds plus ten seconds to biting edges cooldown. It was five seconds, or plus five seconds. The skill vicious claw uh, is now granted at level twenty, down from level forty. Uh, burglar, <laughs> anyone with a burglar? I do. I do. Uh, the wound effect applied by Enrage uh, to Clever Retort has been rebalanced. This effect was much too powerful due to the combination of modifiers that it was not intended to benefit from and had too large a base effect multiplier. The effect also has been renamed to Malicious Wound for easier identification. Right. Captains. So I'm kind of going to have to take a note of this one. The kick skill is now earned at level 20 instead of 44. I think it's good because it is an interrupt. Uh, the skill Cleanse Corruption is now granted at level 20, down from level 50. That's nice. Uh, the examination tooltip for the captain's skill Noble Mark has been updated to reflect the correct interval for personal heals. Uh, improved Threatening Shout has become Elendil's Roar. It is now granted as a base yellow line skill with base cooldown of 60 seconds. <sighs> All right, so uh, bears can dual wield, but none of the, those do, as you only get depressed from main hand weapons, so two-handed all the way. <coughs> Fair enough. Um, I'll have lots of questions, like I did with um, the Cappy, about everything to do with Beornings when I when I finally get around to playing it. Um, so, yeah, Threatening Shout is now earned uh, via a tier, second-tier yellow trait that replaces Strong Voice. It is no longer replaced by improved threatening shout and can be learned by non-yellow captains. Uh, okay. Uh, Elendil's Fury no longer grants a taunt effect to Blade of Elendil and instead reduces the cooldown of Elendil's Roar to 30 seconds and increases its area of effect to 10 targets. Elendil's Fury now properly adds plus 4 targets to Elendil's Roar. Okay. Uh, champion's up next, so if you're playing a champion, listen up. The Clobber skill is now earned at level 20 instead of 30. The Feral Strike skill is now granted at 20 instead of 50. Uh, Horn of Champions now applies a forced taunt effect on all targets it hits, in addition to its prior effects. Ooh, I like doing that. Because <laughs> when you go running through the Harrowing, you know, my champ, and I go and I collect them all up and then I hit them with the Horn. That stuns them all, but then obviously it'll um, taunt them. I presume that's the right one, the Horn of Champions. Or, or, or is that Deafening Horn? I can't remember. Uh, so anyway, Deafening Horn now increases Horn of Champions maximum targets by plus two per point, up to ten. So that's an increase. So that's basically it. You're just getting a couple of skills earlier, um, and obviously your Horn of Champions is getting changed. Uh, oh yeah, well, I could, I, you're never going to please everyone with whatever you do. So I think it's play, play and adapt is always a good thing. Uh, Guardian's up next. So if you're playing a Guardian, that'd be me. Uh, the skill improved Sting is now granted at level 20 instead of level 50. So obviously Sting is that one there. Sting, doink. Um, challenge's cooldown is now reduced by the Bellow trait. Oh, okay. So Bellow. Must be one of the uh, great lines up there, is it? Bello. Is that one? Hang on, let's just find Bello. Ooh. That's Bello there. Okay, so that would... That one over there in the blue line. Okay, okay. Reduces that one. Uh, and the challenge set cooldown bonus has been reduced to six seconds. Okay, so that's... Reduce it down. Hunter's up next. Anyone playing a hunter? Put your hand up. Anyone playing a hunter? <clears throat> right. So. Me, me. Yeah. This is the this is the handy one now. 
uh, because it's it's something that I think uh, has needed to change for a little while, and it is the um, uh, the skill blindside. Now, obviously, blindside is uh, kind of the melee skill. You stab them in the face. Is it the one where you stab them in the face and then shoot them with the arrow? Yeah, because you basically you're doing the Legolas thing where he stabs him in the face and then doink. Um, it's now a ranged immediate skill with a single attack hook. Its cooldown has been increased to 18 seconds. What's the cooldown on it now? What's 12? Ooh, so that's gone up six seconds. So that's doubled by 50%. However, because you don't have to go up to them and smack them in the face with it. Um. <clears throat> So there we go. The skill Blood Arrow is now available at level 20 instead of 50. And the skill Blood Arrow now removes your corruptions. Yep. But the skill Merciful Shot no longer removes corruptions. So you're going to have to get used to that switch. So you're going to have to use Blood Arrow to take corruptions away. Hmm? So blood will become your corruption removal. That'll be a, I think that'll be a habit, habitual thing for a lot of hunters is that when they want to remove a corruption so that, you know, an, an enemy doesn't get stronger or um, <clears throat> for whatever reason uh, doesn't take the damage, normally you'd hit the merciful shot, but now you need to do it the other way and basically go, ah, I need to use blood arrow instead. So, <clears throat> Yeah, there's no there's no change to the cooldown on that one. It just changes literally that the corruptions are on blood arrow and Mercer shot will not do that anymore. Right, next up, Lawmasters. I know there's a few Lawmasteries, especially you, Keepy. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Zornaf, how are you doing, my friend? Good evening. Good. So, Lawmasters, the skills Blinding Flash and Improved Blinding Flash are now immediate. So there's no... Um, basically build up oh faith of us has just rolled to uh, low master yesterday and got to 14 nice uh, so the blinding flash and improved blinding flash are now immediate skills the skill dispel corruption is now granted at level 20 instead of level 50 this cooldown has been reduced from 30 to 25 seconds so that's a little um uh yeah so there's no induction on that now faith of us for your blinding flash ah um skill yeah just they seem to be bringing in a mo mod co uh, corruption removal and then so you got to think why are they doing that what's going to change because obviously the hunters they've had their little switcheroo for the uh, corruption removal that there for dispel corruption is granted earlier uh was there anything else captain burglar uh, the only yeah. immediate just means that we'll not have to queue with us. That's an immediate, fast and normal cast. Yeah. Uh, right. So that's it for the lawmaster. The minstrels. Anybody that's a bit of a ding 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 ding, ding bard. Um, all versions of the skill piercing cry are now immediate. Ooh, fucking hell! As if they weren't strong enough as it is. There you go. <laughs> Fire that one off. Uh, the passive trait purify corruption. He's now granted at level 20 instead of 50. So I wonder if they're just realizing that players at a lower level are not able to stop, you know, mobs that they're fighting, um, AI, basically, um, that get a corruption and they can't do anything about it. So there we go. <sighs> yeah, that's it. That's what, <clears throat> that's what I mean. I don't understand why they're shifting them all down. So, are they bringing in a corruption? Are they going to be buffing? Are they going to be tweaking NPCs? Uh, sorry, a AI mobs. And they're going to give them corruptions. Or is it just going to be boss fights? Are they going to introduce it into, say, places like Can Doom or anything like that? Who knows? Uh, so, that's the minstrels done. But as you can see, again, another one we're dropping down some corruption. And that is a passive trait anyway, so... <sighs> Yeah, oh yeah, the missions, yeah, because that's different, isn't it? What they're going to introduce is missions that can be played at any level kind of thing. Um, so next up is Room Keepers. Anybody with a Room Keeper? Say yeah. Um, I do, he's level 92, I think. So yay me. Uh, the skill Final Word is now earned at level 20 instead of level 30. 
Um, the skills final word and improved final word have had their cooldowns reduced from 30 to 20 seconds. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, the skill improved final word now removes one corruption from the target. So there you go. Not only is it final word earned earlier, it now has a reduced cooldown and it removes one corruption. And do you know what else? A new skill called Speak No Evil removes corruptions from the target and is granted at level 20. There's some, going to be some corruption changes coming. There has to be. They would not be doing all this without the need for a shit ton of um, <laughs> corruption removal. Which is a bit weird, if we're honest. Why would they do that? So expect that. Yeah, maybe they're getting used to people having that corruption skill early. <clears throat> All right, I think the final current final word removes three corruptions on the 30 second cooldown. Yeah, so that's maybe a bit of a, a, a debuff then, isn't it? Um, uh, basically making it a bit weaker rather than doing three. So that's your room keeper then into your warden. Um, uh, Miss Thing has just uh, dropped in on the kinship. How do you miss? Hello. There we go. Um, so, Warden then. Oof, who plays a Warden? Mental. Mental, I'm telling you. Uh, a new skill called Shield Slam is now granted at level 20. The skill is instant, interrupts target inductions, and has a cooldown of 20 seconds. So there's going to be some Wardens that uh, you are indeed everywhere, Mrs. this thing. Uh, uh, so this is going to confuse some Wardens, um, like Stella. She's going to be like, uh, hey, I've, got, I've got one, he's level 9. Uh, so this is going to confuse people, to be honest. They're going to be like, what's this new skill? Where's this come from? And if they haven't played a warden in a while, they'll be like, oh, where's that? Oh, what? Um, so it's a shield slam is now granted at 20. It's an instant interrupt target inductions and it's cooldown was 20 seconds. That's good. That's That makes them a, quite an effective tank, even though they were very effective anyway. Uh, the skills reversal and ranged reversal are now granted at level 20 instead of level 50. Again, mm, I don't know what reversal and range reversal do. Maybe it's just like <laughs> you can deflect damage back, but that's getting brought in earlier. And the defiance buff is now at 32 seconds. <clears throat> oh, so reversal is the corruption remover. There we go. There's a shocker. So everything's level 20 then. Hmm. But as you said, the new missions, yeah, <clears throat> they're going to be available from every character that's level 20 plus. So why not give him a, a skill at level 20 that removes corruptions? There's a shocker. Uh, right, so that's all the classes dealt with. So there is some tweaks for everybody that you're going to have to get. Uh, at 130, yeah, I just couldn't get me, I just get my head around all the gambits. Nope. Right, items then. So we're on to items. Still got a fair bit to go yet. So do bear with me. If you're bored of me, tough doo-doo. You're all here. Lock the door. Um... Right, the flared hanging lantern and ornate hanging lantern housing decorations from the Midsummer Festival will now hang at an appropriate height by default when placed on a ceiling hook. So, have you got one of them? Oh, is that what I got? Oh, is it? That you had to, like, raise up? Oh. I just got some of them and I just wanged them on the wall and then lifted them up manually. Man's going to be through the roof then. I hope they reset it to the default. Because <laughs> Spam's going to be in the roof. Aha. Right, the Spear of Storied Pass will no longer unequip a shield when equipped and will no longer override the appearance of shields when cosmetically equipped. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> I miss things like, where's all my stuff in my wardrobe? Um, but apparently they fixed a typo with the banquet decoration. Selection box, apparently. There was a typo. Wow. See, I wouldn't bother putting that into a, a patch notes. That's, yeah. uh, the Sinister Black Cloak has been renamed to Sinister Black Robe and once again equips and sorts properly in the auction house as a cosmetic for the chest slot rather than as a cloak. Uh, right, Lotto Store. Here we go. Character race change. This is what obviously Lewis mentioned earlier. <laughs> Uh, use this item to add a race change credit for use on any of your characters on this world. So 
if you're playing an elven hunter but you think i want to be a hobbit hunter you can purchase that in the store to change your character log out to the character screen selection to begin your transformation please be aware you may be only may only be able to select from races available to your character class so yeah don't expect to you know play um a beyonding hunter <laughs> So things like that aren't going to work. It's just literally got to be as, as you would be able to um, uh, create a character as is on fresh. Uh, and then the Hobbit Cappy. See, I think that'd be awesome. Can you imagine a little Hobbit? Uh, uh, um, uh, stood at the back, a little Hobbit screaming the shit out of you. Dancing there going, I want second breakfast, you little fuckers. <laughs> So a Rohan housing set bundle is now available that contains numerous cosmetic items for your homestead. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the halberd would be like up here. You know, it'd be, it'd be up here with the halberd. It'd be like, I think the pointy ends up there somewhere. I just can't see it. Hobbit champ. <laughs> Goofy's like, yeah, come on. I'm going to kick your ass. Um, so funnily enough, they release the new Rohan housing tomorrow. And then not only will they try and grab your money for that, they're actually going to take uh, one a bit more out of you for the Rohan housing set. There we go. How much are people going to spend tomorrow? Right. That's the Lost Show store. Anyway, player versus monster player. So this is obviously PvP for, for anybody that doesn't know. Uh, War leaders, uh, which is player versus monster player. That's why it's PvMP. Well, it's the freaks versus the creeps. Uh, War Leader's Command Post Summoned Banner will once again grant buffs to monster play characters within range. Uh, the following Osgiliath monster play quest will once again advance properly. So conquering the Orendil, looking for conflict. The Orendil bridge belongs to Mordor and the Belagiant uh, bridge belongs to Mordor. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, monster player inventory quests and bar items should now no longer have a red border unless they actually cannot be used due to class, rank or other restrictions. Uh oh dear. So a thought on is going through customs. The custom officer asks you ask oh, custom officer os <laughs> officer asks him if he has any luggage. To which the photon replied, No, I'm travelling light. Very good, very good. You've obviously been Googling for that one all day, Zona. <laughs> uh, right, so ooh. Uh quest and adventure areas few updates here the housing quest items building the brie homestead and there's no place like home are now available if you own any type of house any yeah so <laughs> absolutely yeah so the, yeah you just noticed what i saw just down there as well uh that'll bro uh when the cranes bill who is the vip reward so everybody who's a vip yes uh, i'm sure you all are is now available not just of this channel i mean in the game <laughs> uh so when the cranes build the vip rewards lady is now available at michael delving helen dim and thorin's hall so she's available all the way over there just so they're putting them in the major hubs then it looks like she's stretching out from brie i'll still go to my premium house with a one minute cooldown <laughs> at midsummer festival so if anybody is still doing that have you started it yet? Uh, the locations of beehives near Dwilond have been adjusted. <clears throat> well, that could mean anything. It could be put anywhere. Uh, interacting with hungry guards in Minas Tirith is now easier. Uh, the House of Law now has more wayward verses, which all appear more frequently. Uh, wedding supplies quest items will appear more frequently and in more places. Uh, fireflies now appear more frequently and in greater numbers. Uh, fix the typo in the quest all fired up uh, toss a coin to your twitcher or view oh, no, sorry. Um, uh, toss a coin now gives a midsummer reward instead of a spring festival reward and mithril travels has been fixed for the midsummer quest honoring healers <laughs> yeah. um, right Remokant, the net of darkness Thossalun the massive so this is the one where she's she has the daughter that turns up yeah so this is this fight 
Uh, Agerk, the daughter of Thosselin, missed the first morale reduction her sisters received. Her morale is now also reduced. Now, I don't know if that's the first or the second sister, daughter thing that turns up. I don't actually know which one she is because she's that bloody big on my screen. I can't actually tell who she is. But if it's the first one, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, so she's getting her morale reduced. Uh, I'm on hand. Shelob dwindling amusements time has been adjusted. So this obviously is, I think, how long you have to do certain things within uh, the presumably the Shelob part of it. Uh, tier two use 17 minutes. Tier three is 18 minutes. That has not changed apparently. Tier four is 19 minutes, and tier five is 20 minutes. So they've had some adjusted months. Uh, right, some landscape fixes have been done in southern Erid Lewin, a section of the Bone Vale's terrain in Redhorn Gate, and a spot in Gorthat. The custom appearance settings from the Dimraldale Stable Master has been removed. Uh, Kiriel, the pastry chef, should no longer fall through the floor of Minas Tirith in midsummer. <laughs> That's a bit of a bitch. Uh, that was one thing that used to happen to me in Minas Tirith. I used to get beat, especially after battle, I'd end up through the bloody floor. And I got stuck twice. Yeah. In the same bloody spot. Uh, logging out while partway through the Midsummer Fest quest, toss a coin will no longer cancel the quest. Uh, floating wall torches have been removed from above the entrance to Kingstead Meadows neighbourhood. Uh, just so you didn't know, the store has a Rohan housing set bundle available to contain numerous cosmetic items for your homestead. Because they've mentioned it again. <laughs> Somebody didn't proofread this, did they? Uh, and the last but not least is the UI fixes. Uh, various issues with the Travel to Kinship Members House skill has been fixed. Uh, the examination tooltip for the Travel to Kinship ha Members House skill has been updated. And the forward slash LOC command, which is location. So if you ever want to know where you exactly are in the world, you type forward slash LOC for lock for location, uh, has been modified to include the world name. Okay, let's. Uh, I was gonna say, I'll just try that. <laughs> That's tomorrow, dickhead. Uh, but you can still use the lock command. Uh, let's just try and see what it does. I don't know where it's going to put mine. Uh, you're on server 41 at RX... Oh, sorry, R4 LX1146 LY... So, long, uh, yeah, latitude and longitude. Uh, OX135.4. Wow. I've never seen that before. Of oh, that location. That is literally where you are in the game world. Exactly at that time. Wow, shit. That's some um, in-depth. Uh, like height, longitude, latitude, what server you are seeing. That kind of gives it away. Server 41. Now, that must be instance to a degree because obviously not everybody can all be in the same instance because it'd just be an absolute lag fest. Um, but, yeah. So, that's, that's very, very interesting. Or... Obviously, the the game world will be sectioned. Like a, a very since So, like, say... We'll take, for example, the most furthest west we can go is, like, say, Thorin's Hall. For example. That's the furthest we can go west. Way, way off, off to the... Actually, as you guys look, it's, it's over that way. Um, that is, as far as you can go, that might be server one. So, as they increase sectionally across the world, they increase... That's uh, so up to the server 41, which, you know, is the last section. So as they've come through Mordor, they've put this bit in. This area might be one server in itself of, of, of what we call the um, VM, the virtual machine that's running this. But I'm just going with that. That's that's my uh, shits and giggles uh, attempt. But that is, boys and girls, and uh, the update for 27.2, the release notes for tomorrow... Uh, there's going to be more information about the Rohan housing, and that'll be the cost. And I'm telling you now, they are, put, they are not putting the cost on there until tomorrow because they're going to have people bitching like hell tonight if they release the price. And they don't want that because that's bad press. Once they've launched it, and during the downtime, they'll release more information. Yeah, so you can all prepare. So there you go. Uh, the biggies are Helm's Deep onto the legendaries. Rohan housing will be available. Uh, good evening, homely cow. Welcome, welcome. All oh, right, the cost is already out unless they've adjusted. I can't remember the numbers though. Yeah, 
I'm just surprised if they were going to announce it, it should have been in their release notes, to be fair. Uh, so whether there's been any tweak, who knows? But, uh, look at the bottom there for the release notes. All the different ones. There we go. There we go. So that is that, boys and girls. Um, yeah, housing rates were on sale, but I, again, I don't know if you're going to pay with housing rates or what. Well, how are you going to do it? Because it did say about Mithril. So, who knows? Now I'm hoping housing rates are worth it. But, yeah. They were on sale. They're not anymore. Who's theory bomb? Alright, so on the... Uh, okay. Yeah, for them. Right, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I always think of when when everybody puts uh, BR, I always think of Battle Royale. <laughs> right. I need a drink after all that gibber jabbering. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, decoration. There it is, yeah. Yes, there's a bit of information there. <clears throat> uh, missile coins are cheaper than housing rates. Yeah, I cannot actually remember what I paid for with my premium house. Uh, oh, oh, he's, he's even now giving me hassle now, isn't he? Oh. All right. All right, hang on. I do have it there. Yeah. Actually, I've loaded it on that character. I'm going to have to log out. Right, I'm going to swap for your miserable old git. That's, I'm talking to Millithea there, by the way. That's my friend Chris, who's Swedish, or uh, part Swedish, half Australian. He, he identifies as an Aussie, I think. Only because Buckwit wasn't available as a uh, <laughs> country of origin. <laughs> Where do you hail from, friend? The country of fuckwit. <laughs> see, look, see, he's getting all, he's getting all assy. See, he only wants to show it. He's telling you now, when I log into my hunter and go to the kinship house, Millithir, he's on his hunter. Yeah, he's fully geared. All the gear, no idea. He's just going to flex. He's just going to say, hey, look, in my one shot, I can out DPS you for five seconds. No, I haven't got anything on this bloody thing. I've got a few little things, but he's not specced. <laughs> hey, Chris, tell you what. Bring your guardian to the kinship out and let's see how... Oh, that's it. You haven't got one. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Miss, we Miss Weaver, we've just been through everything. But yes, you can buy a token from the Lotro store, which allows you to change your race of your character. Obviously, to ones that are permissible. No DPS rest. Right, okay. So he's just, he's just gonna, oh, you just, just want to beat me up. Uh, Fahrenheit heaps. <laughs> Miss Weaver's like, fuck yeah. Right, uh, you know, let's, ooh, let's just sort that out in a bit. Let's sort that out in a bit. Uh, let's get that on. Let's on that. Uh, case you pass. Oh, had to look to see what she was there. Need to check something else on dummy. Now, I really hope you don't mean me. Yeah, give us my finger. Hey. Oh. Ooh, there he is. There's Millis here. Who's put the um Oh, that was weird. That was very weird. When I just loaded in at the door <laughs> Miss Weaver now. At the door there was a, a, a Nazgul and it's disappeared. Well, it was weird because it was animated. So I think I'm kind of going to get done over here between Lewis and... Uh, yeah, it's the doormat. Oh, it's the doormat. All oh, right. Is that what we call Chris? <laughs> oh, it's the, oh, the unwelcome mat. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. There's a little, Mirius, there's a little bit of change. I normally have... Well, I, you know, I do have, I do have a body. <laughs> Just a bit of a... Oh, Matt Dummy. Yeah. Hey, just watching you. Dipshit. There. 
let's just let's slap it. Oh, by the way, this is the greatest kinship on Evernight's um, kin house. If you uh, want to come here, then, uh, you know, you're going to be in the kin. Uh, one minute, I just need to get the ingredient pack. Thank you. Get both. Jeez. Can you really get both? Apparently, you can get both. You can get nine universal ingredients packs per day. Wow. Cool. That's funny. Uh, Mr. Singh hasn't actually seen the kin house. Uh, no, not yet, Chris. Not yet. Jeez, God. Needy, needy, needy. Right, let's just uh, load it up. Where is it? Combat analysis. I have no idea how to use this. Never used it. Right. So let's just see. Is it going to put it into there? Combat analysis is loaded. I hope it puts it into it. Put it puts it into here. Should do. Uh, maybe. Does it? Oh, is that, that, that that's that icon? Oh, that's the icon there, isn't it? There we go. Found it. It won't stop looking. How to join the kinship? Uh, Dead Nerd TV. Um, you n couple of things. You need to be on Evernight server, um, which is the server that we play on. Also, um, uh. A faithless. Uh, right, I'll answer a couple of questions here. <laughs> wow. Uh, so yeah, we need to be on Evernight. Uh, Evernight server. That is where we are. Also, um, you need to be over twenty-one to join the gnomes. Now it's Guardians of Middle Earth. Um, probably the greatest kinship there ever was on um, Evernight. Maybe. And uh, <laughs> you need to speak to one of the officers uh, within the kinship as well. I'm not one of the officers. I've got too much shit to do than be an officer as well. I get other people to be the officers. Like uh, Lewis the Blob and Rowan Than, that is your head honcho team for the uh, for the kinship. Uh, that is the kin leader Rowan Than and Lewis the Blob, who is the second in command, but he's also a bit of a dick. But don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's nine per day for every character. Yeah, I've got plenty. To be fair, I just it's the first time I've been back here for a while. Uh, dear. Right. So I've opened it. I've opened it. What? Are we going to have to strike that? I feel like he's going to tell me. Right, I want you to do this, 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 and this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, can I? Yeah, to join the kin, the dictionary with all the bad words that we can throw on Gaz, you're in. Uh, uh, this is a little star. Why are you? There we go. Thank you. If you're going to insult me, at least get the wording right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. But uh, thank you, everyone, for dropping in. If you do have any questions about the patch tomorrow, we've just been through it. Um, you might want to have a little look back at the VOD later on, because I'm sure as I like reading it all again. Um, so there we go. Let's just check. <sighs> I'm just going to keep slapping it. Can I just keep slapping it? There we go. I used to do this for hours. Absolutely hours on a night. Me and Chris would just stand in the middle of Middle Earth somewhere and just slap each other with a fish. Let's see. <laughs> it never gets boring. Never gets boring. Yeah, Chris, you just... I <laughs> see what you did there. Yeah, you hit up twice, didn't you? So you put the message in that I actually posted to you that you obviously sent to somebody else. You noob. All the gear and no idea. <laughs> it's just so fun. Just fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll have a little look in the house, actually, after we finish it. Ah, see, now he just slaps me. Oh, dear, see. I'm here all week. Here all see. <laughs> it is a cool house. It is a cool house. It's it's in the Falathlon, um homestead. by Waterbank Road. Right. Ah. Now, Chris, would this be easier to be on Discord... I'm going to ask you this now. Would it be easy to be on Discord? Because I've got a feeling you're going to want me to do a specific thing and I'm not going to be able to um, do it. And you'll say, you did that wrong. Uh, 
this is it. Now, yeah, I'm sorry everybody's expecting to see some Guardian gameplay, but this, uh, this fuckwit of a hunter who I've known for several years, and he's one of my best friends in the whole wide world, because he's a very generous guy, but don't tell him that. Um, we need to have a... a I'm just boosting his bloody ego a little bit. So I'm just going to drop onto the uh, Discord on the gnomes. And hopefully he will be here in his... It, Miss Thing's arrived. There she is. There she is. Hello, Miss Thing. She's come to get the premium ingredient crate. <laughs> She's... Uh -huh. There she is. Oh, yeah. And I hope somebody's actually explained that if you see one of your other kin members, you have to dance them. Uh, uh, if you don't dance them, it's it's kind of like, you know, bad idea. Oh, she's got uh, the armor on. Is it Tarlax? Who the hell is it? Uh, oh, God. It's where the cosmetic. Oh, what is it? Outfit one. What's the cosmetic? Uh, I think she does now. Orcish, it's the orcish armor, yeah. That looks armor, it's not going to make it a buff. Ah, that's the one. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, if you do see one of the other kid members of the Guardians of Middle-Earth in and around your travels anywhere in the world, you have to dance them first. So you just target them and then forward slash dance. It's just a little mini game. Uh, Guardian. Oh no, Mincy. You're a Mincy, aren't you? Probably Minstrel. Yeah, it's... um. Uh, Annie Ramos, who's the Guardian. There we go. I know. Everybody, 30 viewers. Oh, geez. Everybody think that there's something good going on in this channel. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe it's the floaty head. Maybe the rumors of a floating head geek delf has hit the internet. Oh, here he is. But I can't hear him. Why cannot hear Chris? Chris, can you hear me? But I can't hear Chris. Hey, hey, well done, well done, well done. Let me just check. That's chat, that's chat. There we go. Now try. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Now we yeah, can hear him. Go. You know it was. It was my fault. I actually had my uh, chat channel muted. <laughs> <laughs> On my mixer. <laughs> oh, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> right. So... Oh, hello. I've gone to the pig pen. Oh, Charlotte, Dorking, Chicken, and Snuffles. Nice. Hey, concentrate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, boss. Jeez. See, I'm getting told off now. Yep. Right, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, it's easy. Just go quick shot, quick shot, penetrating, and then quick shot, quick shot, barb. So two, right. two, one, two, two, one. So quick shot, okay. quick shot. Penetrate, quick shot, quick shot, barbed. Quick right. shot, quick shot, penetrating. Quick shot, quick shot, barbed. Okay. That's all, all you have to do. And then just, you know, do it the uh, best you can. I'm, I'm not scared about the DPS. But then if you uh, look on your, uh, your combat analyst, you will have something called APS there. Attacks per second. All right, yeah. That's showing us 2.2, 2.1. Yeah. 2.2, 2.1. Yeah. Okay, 2 .2, 2 .1. okay. Same. So I need to figure out if something is totally. Okay, let it run for a minute at least and then. What strength or what stance are you in? Does it make any difference? No, it doesn't uh, make any difference. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to double, double check the uh, attack per second. Yeah, yeah something is strange. Uh, I'll let you do that and then I'll do it alone on the dummy. Yeah, so that hit 2.3. Okay, 2.3. Yeah. Uh, okay, we we just have to wait now and just let it disappear here. Yeah, I yeah. Can... It's no longer... Oh, oh, attacked actually, I can... by the dummy. Attacked <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the dummy. I'll go in the house and after I get out of combat. Cool. 
You're welcome, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go in the house as well because it keeps hitting me. Oh, this is the. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, the spectral visitor. Mm. This looks like it's still set up for when we did the um, Gnome Olympics. So yes, every every year, I think it's summer and winter, uh, we do the Gnome Olympics. And I think this is still set up for how it was because you were not allowed to land on the lava. You had to jump onto everything. And literally, it was like jumping onto that snow globe, the keg, Nornua's head, onto the fireplace, the blind one's head. And you had to get over there and it, it, doable. Nightmare. Blame Lewis. Dick nuts. Right. I'll give it I'll give you a little tour when we're back. No. And we're outside again. There we are. Thank you. But mine's still not disappeared, it's showing us 1.7. <laughs> uh yeah, I will count yeah, I will count down, but it's more just like the running rate that I needed to figure out. Oh right, okay. What were yeah. you getting the same rate? No, I don't think so. That's why I'm gonna check here. is way slower something is strange you're way slower than me yeah no yeah of course. Like... <laughs> um <laughs> yeah because lewis he or say the the hunters that do you know really max dps uh, yeah. in the game what i've found so far mm -hmm. you know they kind of do I've seen uh, like 163 plus yeah. on the dummy. Um, I made 152. Why? Right. But, but, you know, how should I put it? Uh, I can't make the rotation, so I make like 150 each and every single time. I haven't right. got that in. But that person makes over 600 attacks yeah. in total. Uh, which means that he is doing something like, yeah, say at least three attacks per second, mm. and I'm I'm doing fifty percent less in attacks per second. Yeah, but I can still reach. Yeah, you know the hundred and fifty-two. So in theory, mm -hmm. if I can get up my attacks per second up to three, I can totally you know blast or annihilate or yeah you know, i mean they're not, they're not using any kind of macro setup are they yeah maybe i, I mean i'm not sure but mm. on lewis rotation he gets this uh yeah the three attacks per second and yeah. i get like 1.8 1.9 and then working hard on it so i can get it up to like 2.1 maybe 2.2 but yeah like you said now if you were on uh what was your attack per second it was two point something yeah 2.3 yeah the highest and yeah I, yeah 2.3 and so either i'm doing something really like physically wrong pressing these three buttons i mean <laughs> this, this, this is pretty easy you know <laughs> you know yeah quick shot, quick shot so on so, yeah, I'll, I'll, actually, what I'm going to do is I'll try uh, using the key presses rather than clicking because obviously I, I mouse click rather than button press. So obviously, okay, like, but if you, if you try the the button press, yeah, and then if you don't mind, if you say if you go like click 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 every time you click, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, for, say for thirty seconds or something like that, just okay. so we see how it goes okay so, right i'll start yeah, now take, okay yeah, so yeah, yeah, click. take your time click 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 oh it's the wrong form there we go four yeah, no, one no worries but click click it doesn't click. really matter if you click something wrong click. here click okay that now i hear your rhythm that's fine yeah. then, then just continue and just check uh, the aps you can see it running on the side there 
of what you're doing now. 2.3 again. Okay, you're doing 2.3. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, let's... Okay, then you can stop. I'll go in and out. It's like get out of combat. Oop. Yeah. Oh, I have to get out of combat here. Yeah. There we go. Oop. Mm, okay. Yeah. Stop shooting now. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm out of combat. What's your latency, by the way, anyway, to the server? Do you have the connection latency? Uh, latency 137. Ooh. You get 47 milliseconds more than me. My latency is only 89.5, 90 milliseconds at the moment. So that's nearly double my, well, half again of my latency ish. That's... Yeah, now it's 168. Oh, Lubisha just well, said, uh, you finally will get more attacks if you have more bleeds I... on. Or so I will have more. Uh, yeah, Lewis says you'll get more attacks though if you have more bleeds on. So obviously with the yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I'm just tr really trying to figure out a pure simple thing here now because you're doing 2.3 mm -hmm. attacks per second just on you know just basic skills, you know nothing else. Flex. Okay, we we got bleeds going on with of course with uh, the barbed arrow, but I just I just want to check something here. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I don't even get close to the 2.3. Flex. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm nearly like, uh, I, I'm at least 0 0.9 behind. Really? So there is something fucking wrong. <laughs> well, well, that, I mean, latency uh, could affect it, but even if you've uh, fired that skill off. Now, that seems weird because I'm getting 2.3, and if you're only getting like, what 1.4 uh attacks per second your no. latency is like a third more as well on top because you're getting 140 milliseconds i'm no. getting like 96 um yeah my latency is running anything and i'm from 120 to 180 wow are you on wi-fi or are you are you um the uh, cable no i am on cable ah. i've got the that seems to be weird to fluctuate so high, that latency, up and down like that. Because mine fluctuates usually within five milliseconds. I'll get maybe 89 up to, say, 94 and stuff like that, but it doesn't go that high. That, that's yeah, quite an astronomical no, I, amount. It's kind of steady now on 120. Yeah. Yeah, so that's about 30 milliseconds higher than mine. And I get, say, around the... Yeah, so Lewis is saying that he has shit internet as well, so it isn't the factor for, for that. So I'm just wondering if the latency Lewis is, is causing an issue. Yeah, but, but then what? Because now when I heard your rhythm on like click, click, mm -hmm. I mean, if, let's see if we. Yeah, I mean, I could hear your rhythm, and then mm. if I can kind of like do the same. Yeah, I mean, we can I'm clip it later there. on so that you can actually see what, when it activates as well. So I can clip the uh, the uh, the actual stream later, and then I'll post it into uh, uh, the gnomes. Yeah. Something is strange. In your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Do this again. I mean, I'm just watching your character and how it, you know, activates to see if there's any difference. Yeah. Uh, 
25 seconds and I, and I don't get above 1.4. On you now. 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, just a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, I'm just gonna try. Well, this is. So, what the hell is it? Can't... I'm just throwing around ideas here now. Okay, if it doesn't matter on the internet connection. I mean, it can't be... You know, like... Kind of like a hardware. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, not, it's definitely I mean, not hardware, Chris. Because you're yeah. running virtually the same settings as me anyway. Yeah. Our systems are very similar. Yeah, I'm consistent 2.3 now. I can't get it any higher than 2.3 with that setup. Yeah, and yeah, and if you if you got if you tell me click click here again. Yeah, click, 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 click. Uh, okay. click. I mean, what, the only thing that I think I, well, I'm not saying that you're not doing, but what I'm doing is yeah. I'm queuing up the quick shot straight away as soon as I know it's yeah. activating. Yeah. Then I click it again so that it's ready as soon as it comes off that like half a second cooldown or whatever the stupid it is on the yeah. um yeah not point four induction um so literally as soon as I know it's gonna fire I kind of um queue it up again yeah that I get <sighs> but I mean I've been trying this you know. You know, like really, like spamming the keys to, <laughs> to you know, really kind of like look on the skill and yeah, you know, yeah. even look on the, what do you call it? You know, the the skill on the screen, not mm -hmm. the, not the skill from the character, but you know, the buttons. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I've been timing all the, you know, doing all these different, yeah, and I'm constantly. Whatever I do, I'm kind of always on the same mm -hmm. lack of attack per second. Yeah, I mean, I've not been attacking for at least 30 seconds. I'm still higher than you. Flex! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, to be fair to everyone, everybody that's watching on the stream, Chris's gear, if, if I actually inspect him, he will get... He, he's done shit tons. I mean, he's got top-end gear. Um everything all this gear is way better than mine um so i can't really you know compare but let me just know you know that my attacks per second is higher and if i had the same gear i would be better than him but he's not yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, that is but that's also annoying <laughs> yeah that no, no well uh, yes i know i mean uh, what i mean is that i can see how the really good DPSers or hunter mm. DPSers on the servers are doing 160 plus. Yeah. I, I can do 152 on a yeah. shit slow attack, you know, yeah, I do yeah. 50% less attacks per second mm -hmm. and I'm just 10k behind. So it yeah. means in theory, you know, if I go, you know, if I can do 150 on kind of like a shit rotation, yeah, yeah. that means if I get up the attack per seed, I can do way over 200 in theory. Yeah, theoretically, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, so, maybe the game just thinks you're too awesome in your gear and needs to intentionally slow you down. Yeah, so, uh, but so something is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let, let's do it like this, even simpler. Just go quick shot, quick shot, quick shot, quick okay. shot, quick shot. Like nothing else. Okay. I'm still gonna start stopped. I will have to go out of combat here. I mean, we can't do it more simpler than that. Stop. Oh, the dummy went away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, but I'll just get it. Get out again. Yes. Come back in. Dealing bloody combat. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Keeper Elos, who's uh, one of the viewers, he's trying the same thing. Uh, and he's not getting above 2.0 in his own hunter. And he's got 102 latency, so... 
Okay. 102 and 2.0. Yeah. Okay. So that means that maybe, okay, you're managing here to time the queuing a little bit better than... Awesome! Than, than him. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a house chasing dummy, but, so I think he's but, using one of the other ones elsewhere. Uh, okay. I think I'll try or maybe somewhere else. Yeah, okay, I don't have a housing training dummy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, just go quick shot, quick shot, quick shot. <laughs> uh, apparently, Lewis with the rotation I can do, and I can get 3.4 to 3.5. Yeah, I mean, Lewis can get really, 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 really? speedy. Okay, but that, yeah. but then, but that's not. Yeah. That's not just with this. That's with the whole thing with the all bleeds right. and all that. But all still, right. it's a, it's a really high, impressive attack per second. But that's his full rotation. Uh, and if I do the full rotation, yeah, okay, I get to anything from 1.9 to maybe 2.2, .2, and that's still way behind what Lewis is doing. So, He's doing quick shot, quick shot, quick shot all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's capping out 2.2, 2 .2, I can probably get to 2.3. Okay, about 2.2. .2. Yeah. Okay. So in theory, if I just if I spam my quick shot, you know, like a hundred buttons per second. Yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can't get mine I above 2.2. .2. Yeah, if you do that, if you just massively press your yeah, yeah, I'm quick I'm, shot, yeah. I'm really shit out of it. It's not making a yeah, yeah. bit of difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're on 2.2, .2 yeah. and I'm on 1.3, 1.4 so whatsoever. So something is something is wrong. It is I'm wondering my, if, if it is the latency. It is my, yeah, it is not my bloody pressing and timing and all that kind of. <laughs> FRPG yeah. gamer. Yeah, I, I, see, I'm thinking that's latency involved. That this the 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 game server is not detecting that you've clicked that, or if it does, it's taking a third longer for yeah. that server to receive the information to then send it back to you and say, yeah, I know you've hit that button. I fired the arrow. This is how much DPS you've done. That's yeah. the thing I can think of. But, um, okay. uh, Keepy, you were getting 2.0, weren't you? You couldn't get above 2.0, which is only 0 0.2 of a difference, but that's 10 milliseconds more yeah. latency, uh, and you were getting uh, 30 milliseconds. Holy shit, snacks! Does Keeper hear me? Uh, yes, he does, yeah. Yeah, okay. Keeper, if you hear this, can you do the same and just massively, you know, press your quick shot button and nothing else? If you're still uh, around the dummy. Uh, Valadan TD, uh, yeah. welcome to the stream. Have some epic sex, guys. Sorry, I was just. Uh, yeah, it, the dummy is not in store. Uh, it's apparently Lewis told me something about. Uh, um, I can't remember. Some festival time when some uh, guy shows up, then uh, that's oh, when one can buy the dummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> still in combat. Uh, sorry for the house keeper. Very nice if you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta admit, you shit, Chris. You know, all the gear and no idea. <laughs> no, I would say I got a lot of idea because I really understand that something is wrong and people just think I'm, you know, doing the wrong rotation or slow or whatever. <laughs> Fat fingers or. <laughs> but uh, I mean, something is wrong. Yeah. Right. Uh, just, just one second, Chris. Uh, Annie Ramos has just spoken one of the spoken one of the secret words. So there she goes. She gets another five hundred geek coins. <laughs> I'm all filing out with these geek coins tonight. Everybody's after me money. Stop it. Uh, so it's dangerous. Dangerous. Get rid of it. That's dangerous. So, Hold. Save again. So we're off and running. Oh yes, the floor is lava. It just doesn't do anything for you, against you. It is actually just a uh, a texture. But... You can show the massive work that Lewis did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With, <laughs> I mean, like I say, th this was just phenomenal for the Gnome Olympics about how we basically had to traverse across these things, 
doing jumps and if you fell off you had to go back to like the carpet etc oh, oh damn ass him uh, from the lewis he spent hours and days yeah. on yep. just you think, fixing you think you'd get on there and it's so easy but it's not <laughs> uh so that, that, was again. So, that was a really good run yeah a really good effort from him there we go and then landing unknown to his head yeah Uh, yeah, Tom, uh, yes, I believe you are, because I think you got gifted. The reason being is that I've run out of VIP slots. <laughs> okay, keep it here now. 101 latency, just hitting 2.1. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm still far. I'm still far behind. Yeah. Wait, there's one test I, I can I, see. I'm, if actually, this... I'm actually just going to try to change keyboard or whatever. I yeah. Don't know. Um, yeah, uh, Tom, I'm just going to double check, but I'm fairly certain that you are because. Do, 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 do. Thanks, Keeper. Uh, appreciate it. And that's the value. Let's just get to. Give it a Hmm. So. And I guess, oh yeah, let's do this. Right, so currently, no. the current one. Right, so, uh, did I, yeah, Tom, you are, you are, you are gifted. Are indeed gifted. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, so yeah, we got Aliosa, Aniramus, Body Mutt, Captain Awesome, e, Cherry Bits, CK House One, Dark Lighter Seventy Six, Elder Artist Seventy Three, Enroth, Fearmar, Faithless, Furlon, Arkunen, Homely Cow, Jimmy White Crow, Yinya. Jumbo95, Kaiser Chief, Keeper Ellis, Lee Nightingales, Legimus Maximus, Louis the Blob, Magic and Sparkle, Mojo the Puffin, Mr. Robot Do, Mrs. Thing, uh, Nettle Brew, Original Hunt, Holger Mechanica, uh, Rowinthan, RPG Gamer 2000, Samson5724, Shinji Kagawa, Sabati Wall, Smashable Dad, Stereo Panda, Stock Beam, Takanori Bait and Sushi, Tetro, Doc, Do Toxin27, Demaeus2, Tommy Specs, Towel7170, Vincent of WKD55, 5. XSG Bullface and Zornaf. That is our VIP list uh, of subscribers. And I've actually run out of room <laughs> on my VIP list, so I can't actually fit anybody else in, <laughs> which I do apologize about. However, as a subscriber, you will not lose any of the perks. I just manually put you in as a VIP uh, via the channel. So um, don't worry. You're still earning extra. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Thing, you do not need to apologize at all, my dear. You've been very, very generous, very, very generous, and uh, we thank you immensely for it. So, um, right, what I'm going to do is uh, check the guys on something I made, which includes the rotation. Oh, apparently he's put that on to there. I've come to thing I made, which includes the... All right. Keep Arellos, thank you for gifting a sub to Skybird UK. Wow, subs are flying in. Thank you very much, Keepy. You are a gent and a scholar. Dave, what we can have a round of applause. And do you know what we need? I've lost it. There it is. It's the confetti. <laughs> Oh, wow thank you very much keepy that is awesome thank you immensely for that uh professor oak is this game good i'm biased and i will say yes and you're looking to get into something then without a shadow of a doubt you need to do it now uh, until the end of august every con bit of content in the game is free to play for everybody and keeper Alice has just put a wonderful link for you there um lotshow.com forward slash em forward slash friends forever Follow that link. You'll find there for every player that has an account, whether you're a VIP or a free-to-play player, you can redeem a code in there called Lotro Free Quest, which will give you a shit ton of content for free after August the 31st, because that's when the freebies kind of disappear. 
So make an account now. Try as much content as you can. Enjoy the game as much as you can. But make sure before the end of August you redeem that code. Uh, there is other things in there as well for the very cheap expansion quest, which is very worthwhile getting because you'll probably find that you're getting up to that end of that content when uh, you become to the end of this month. Uh, you can get them for 99 Lottero Points. Lottero Points are the in-game uh, store points that you purchase with real money. There's no pay to win in the game. There's just pay to accelerate your uh, leveling. Um, so pretty much if you want to level your characters quickly, you can do, but it's going to cost you. But um, absolutely, Professor Oak. 32 people that are now watching, I would say probably 75% of those people are playing in some shape or form. Uh, and the servers with all this free stuff is pretty rammed. Now, this is just... It's showing 965 entries on there. Now, it doesn't sound a lot. However, it doesn't count everybody that's on the server because people who are anonymous and there's a lot of people that stay anonymous. And this is just on Evernight server uh, in, in this particular area as well. So it's very popular at the moment. Um, Laureline is showing six non-anonymous. Holy <laughs> shit, snacks. Thank you very much, Professor Rook, for that follow. Much appreciated. Uh, and if you do have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, myself and plenty of other people in this channel can answer all sorts of questions about the game. Uh, we've been playing it a long time. And if you need any information about how to play a hunter and get at least 2.3 attacks per second, I'm your man. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. throw in something? Yes. If somebody can figure out my uh, problem there, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> give me your pay give me your paypal account yeah so <laughs> you know what chris i'm going to test something now this is going to affect everybody because what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to actually start a download in the background uh, and this is going to cause my uh, latency to the server to basically go up. um and i'm going to then start attacking that dummy and see if it works yeah. Uh, professor rook we're on evernight server so if you do create an account we're on evernight which is an eu based server uh, basically, the time zone that most people play is around the EU time zone. But if you are from across the pond or wherever you are in the world, you can still join that server. Just the majority of people will be on at EU prime time. Um, so, yeah, right. I'm just going to start a download on Steam in the background. If I can find Steam. I throw out there 50 euros to the one that solves my problem. Man. Fucking hell, I hope I solve this because you'll be sending me, I'll be sending you my PayPal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Thoughts. I'm fucking, I'll never tell you anything of you, Chris. You've been way too generous. <laughs> right, so let's just bring up Steam. The one that has the clear solution, uh, I'll toss it in. Yeah. Uh, no worries. Just right, so I've got a 4.7 gig download that I've just started. So if I do start breaking up at all, uh, it shouldn't affect my upload because it is download, but it should actually affect my ping. Okay. I'm just so waiting for it to start to actually download because it's just allocating the space. Um, da, 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 come on, stop allocating space. Just download the bloody thing. So uh, yeah, we yeah we're definitely still showing 950 on Evernight currently, but obviously there's a lot of people that are uh, anonymous which do not show in that list. <sighs> yeah, pretty many. Mm -hmm. Right, then we've got heist on the go as well. There we go. Uh, excellent, Professor Rock. Enjoy. And like I say, if you do have any questions about uh, about the game, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, we can all learn a thing or two. Even I've learned things, and I've been playing for 13 years. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, and just so everybody knows, thir no, no, not Thursday. Wednesday, we'll be doing our alternative game, which is Stream Racer for a few hours, where we'll race 10 races, all for a bit of fun. Uh, and if you've never seen what Stream Racer is, um, it's just you don't have to download anything. I literally commentate on AI cars, which are your drivers are trying to smash up, basically, and they do a good job of it. Blow them up, all sorts. Right, we are downloading currently. So let's see what I've done. My ping is now 144 milliseconds. Okay, and I'm on 120. So I've gone up 50 milliseconds-ish now. Yeah. So we'll try see got this dummy on the way Let's see if it affects right so i'm just going to literally spam the crap out of quick slot i'm going to check my internet connection on the same time so i'm just hammering the crap out of my monkey Mm. 
I'm holding at 2.1-ish. But yeah, isn't really affecting still, it that much. Uh, but still, it's, it's way higher than uh, than what I can do, whatever, yeah, whatever I do. Yeah. So something is really, really wrong. Uh, mm. Check it. Yeah, I don't can, know what... Can you... Uh, can you check, uh, you know, like, towards your uh, IPS, uh, you know, your your internet connection? Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. One second. Stop that down, though, because that will affect it. Do, 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 do. Right, if I do a quick... Now, this will um, probably lag things a little bit on the stream, so don't, uh, don't worry, peeps. Just doing a quick test. Uh, oops, got smacked by the thing. So I've got 19 millisecond ping. Downloads currently about 55 megabits per second, but the ping is quite. I don't know why it shows less, though. That's miles away. It says here on my connection unknown response time one millisecond, and wow. my download is 625 megabit and upload 600. <laughs> Yeah, you heard them them figures right, peeps. Uh, that's Swedish internet for you. Um, so yeah, I've got fifty five point four three fiber optics. Yeah, I get fifty five point four uh, down and fourteen point eight, but it's no, it's nearer twenty uh, normally. It's just that I'm streaming at six megabits per second, so you can see why it's taking that yeah, off. So. Okay, but still, that means that the internet connection towards my house mm -hmm. is not a problem. No, it's your skill. What the hell is the problem then? That's, that's, that's really <laughs> baffling. I, I mean, it can't be anything in your build. You know, it can't be any of your items or gear or anything like that. I, I don't know. I just really don't get. I can't. <laughs> Can, can I get my character to just run around in thongs and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <you know? laughs> Uh, Maybe it's armor is you know it's all rusty and yeah. it's squeaking when it's gonna pull. Uh, the yeah, bow maybe and... it's just old age. I mean, you are knocking on a bit now. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Yeah. Okay, is there a <laughs> built-in age thing in this game or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, once he realizes the age of a player, it's like, no, we need to slow him down a bit. I mean, if you install this and say that I'm you know, 17 or something yeah. like that, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, even even if it was a hardware issue, you know, like with um, your graphics or anything like that that was causing like graphical lag, but your system is as good as mine, you know, it, 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 if not better, it's it, it's not that. We know it's, it can't be that, so yeah, it's I mean, something it's, game engine wise, I would su yeah. seemingly be. But you obviously even with your latency, when I artificial tested the latency, um, it didn't reduce my uh, attacks per second. <clears throat> I don't get it. I mean, it's like you said, I got a brand new mm. computer. Yeah. I mean, with the... I don't think it's hardware at all. No, I mean, uh, hey, it's the, like you said, this... The TI card. I mean, I can't mm. buy a better graphics card on the market. Yet. Yeah, not yet. There's no better... Yeah, the... I mean... Yeah. All right, apparently well, a distance from the dummy is also notch. making a difference, according to Keepy. Who? Hmm. Mm. Let's try that. We need a valid target. Why is it not saying a valid target? What about evades or misses? Oh, yeah. I'm not joking, Chris. I'm stood here now spamming one, and I'm up to 2.7. Obviously, the time it takes for the arrow to hit. But yeah, I'm getting 2.6, 2.7 now. Standing here. Okay, if I go... Cl <laughs> yeah, just literally, just, just stand right on it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Is that because... Oh, okay. Louis says it's the uh, melee attacks. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to be in his face. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to spam this here. Oh, yeah, it just. Mm. No, I'm not even close. One point two. 
1.2, going up to 1.3. Wow. Uh, 1.3 steady. Nah. Nah. That's bizarre. Something, yeah, something is. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but I keep her. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking. But it shouldn't matter what level. I mean, the mm. everybody should be able to do the same kind of attack per second. And then, of course, when you put in bleeds and all that kind of just, then there can be differences. But just a simple quick shot, uh, then it shouldn't matter. Oh, really, thanks for trying to help out. Um, Even from this distance, I'm hitting 2.1. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I go really far and then uh, I'll get like 0 0.2. Though. Yeah, that's as far as I could get away from it, I think, it was uh, okay, okay, okay. 2.2. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess I have to start over, yeah, of course. Ah, this is annoying. I mean, I hardly got anything else installed on my computer. No. I'm running dual screens. Yeah, I run three screens. And I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hardware, I'm, Chris. It I'm really isn't hardware. Connection to me. Yep. Nah, no, I know. I have to... Yep. So... Will SSG help out? With what? You know, if one s sends them uh, some kind of ticket. Well, yeah, like, I think they'd be interested to, if there's an issue with certain maybe accounts or something like that. I, see, I'd be tempted to put in an issue, uh, a ticket in and just say, look, uh, my internet's this, my internet's this. However, looking at the attacks per second, comparative to other people, I'm like down by, like, say, 60% or something like that. So yeah. Even seeing you tack there, it's taking that long for that to hit. Even I know it's only about like one and a half or something like that. No, not even that. No? One point one I'm doing now. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> ah, frustrating. <laughs> I mean, if I just, if I get up, you know, to the same speed as everybody else, mm. then I. Uh, yeah, then in theory, I, I can get up the DPS mm -hmm. to be the highest that I've seen yeah, on yeah. the bloody internet. Sorry, mm -hmm. my English. Yeah. And then, I, then I can weigh out DPS them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But something is holding this back. Skills. <laughs> yeah, but what can it be? Your skills. You're getting old. Reaction time, you see, you're getting old now. You're pushing yeah. 50, aren't you? I mean, come on, let's be fair. Yeah, and that that, that means that it's very, very hard to press the same single button a hundred times. Yep. Well, we, we, we've obviously got proof of that, Chris, so... Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's like, ouch, that hurt my finger. Yeah. Oh, I have to do it again. Yeah, to stop. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, oh, now I'm really sore. I pressed it twice. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I have to do it a third time. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I'd be putting in a ticket, Chris, because that, to yeah. me... Oh, well. Anyways, 50 euros to a person that uh, can have a clear solution. Yep. Just send the PayPal account and I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See, it, 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 this is where I... It's, um, I'll, I'll send you a message off a uh, thing, and there's one, there's one way that we could test this. Yeah. And that would be to swap accounts. You try it on my account, I try it on yours, and see if it is anything to do with latency. Because if I can hit 2.2 on your account, and you can hit only 1. Point whatever on my account, that would be a test. Because then yeah. it'd be say, is there something wrong with the character? Because we know that I can hit 2.2, you can hit 1.5 or whatever. That would be something to test. Obviously, we won't do that now because I'm streaming to God knows how many people. 
yeah. yeah. No, cool. no, but we can talk about it later. Yeah, cool. Uh, yes, Keepy, you can record. Yes, you can record with Xbox Broadcaster and Gamecaster as well, which is the freer version. Um, so, yeah, you can record with, with either either. Uh, also, if you do have an NVIDIA card installed, you can obviously record with um, the... Uh, shit, what do they call it? I don't even use it generally. But you can record via the NVIDIA cards as well, using their NVENC encoder. And my streams are actually encoded with NVENC because obviously it's built into the 2080 Ti. It's a separate dedicated chip. So, um, right, I shall swap back to my Guardian. Yeah. Uh, thanks for helping me out. Yep, no worries. Uh, don't disturb this anymore. Oh. I really uh, appreciate it. Yeah. yeah uh, no worries, thanks. Uh, thanks again also to you, Keeper, and the rest. Yeah. Everybody else is just laughing at you, Chris. So, you know, just cry yourself <laughs> to sleep tonight, knowing that you're a shit hunter. <laughs> yeah, I am. All the gear and shit oh, DPS. Uh, I Thank can I do my thing and go back to the 150, but yeah. that's good. But mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. Right. Oh, well. we see. Bam. Okay, I go, I go off. Okay. Uh, thanks. No worries. I'll see you soon, Chris. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> right, back on to spam. But uh, there is my wonderful friend Christopher, who is known as Miller Theory, is in chat. Uh, uh, Annie Ravis, we always like to set the piss out of Chris. Chris, uh, like I say, he's a wonderful guy. He likes to have all the best gear. He's a bit of an elitist prick, but you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hacks like bye, glorious accent man, because he's got a Swedish accent. There's a shocker. <laughs> dear, dear me. Right there we are. We're back on the Guardian after that little interlude. But uh, uh, yeah, anybody, if you do want to hit me up on the socials, there you can follow me on Twitter. You, I do have a YouTube channel as well, which I post stuff up from time to time, and my own little Discord, Geek Bites Grotto. If you're not already there. Well, what are you doing with your life? Really? What are you doing with your life? But um, right, quick AFK for me. Need the need the loot, and then I shall be back. So don't go nowhere. I shall be back in a momento. Hopefully, if I hit the right key.
There we go. We're back again. Uh, hey. Uh, so, good evening to you all. Um, oh, yes. We had a little bit of a detour there. Uh, we're doing some guardian stuff, and then we had to help uh, my friend Chris. Oh, for God's sake. Now he's phoning me. One second. There we go, sorry, I was just, uh, you know, I, I had my hair cut. I haven't got a lot of hair, as you can see, but I did have a lot of hair until yesterday when Magic chopped it all off, which I asked her to do. She didn't do it maliciously. <laughs> she did just go and shaved it off because I ain't got a lot of hair. And it's been bugging the hell out of me because it's been so warm of late. I've just like, uh, chop it all off, chop it off. But ever since then, my bloody hat won't sit still. He's like, what's going on? There we go. I'll try that. I always turn the brim up. There we go. <laughs> right, so Hey okay. I don't know, yeah Just don't blink Just, you know <laughs> uh, Right, so We pretty much didn't get anywhere at the moment, do we? So we need to go back to Eshad Wheel to head back through uh, Head today, gone tomorrow Exactly, that's what it was And uh, I actually feel a hell of a lot better for it as well but uh, right anyway so after he rang me i was just saying hello to everyone wasn't i harkoon and annie ramas faithless home the cows jimmy uh white crow in yeah keeper ellis lewis the blood magic sparkle missy staying nettle brew original hun rowing than rpg gamer 2000 uh amethystos or ember cack life that's a hell of a name ella room flint time goofy old lady meatball ooh, mikey geek Melithea, prank chair rimacina gazzlers Skybird, V and Cave, Ecopros, and Wyrus. There we go. How are, I'm just saying hello to everyone. Just saying hello. I always like to say hello. As you do. As you do. Right. So, let's get back to... <laughs> All my names are off. I'll be back on. Thank you. The Blazon of the Last Alliance. Click. To Mordor Besieged we go. Uh, to Adam Bell. Right, let's bring up all the ones that we have. So, scouting the path to Nath. Uh, yeah, Sauron's presence in Alandor. Orders to intercept mock barricades. Oh, yeah, the mock shap we need to go to. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, Tom Bombadil. Oh, no, Merry Doll. <laughs> I almost think he's just like the most um, wannabe pirate in the whole game. All right, so Captain Tormented. No, that's not there. Wags, Irarandor. Yeah, Packmasters. That is over there as well. 
There's some triplets. He's over there as well, isn't he? Dark totems. Anyway, we'll head over there. We know where we're going. Yeah. Yeah, absolute bonkers. So we're going to head down here. Right, so let's get sacrifice. So we've got many things to come with uh, with Lotto because obviously uh, this character needs to get to level 130 and then he will get to level 130 before he actually finishes Minas Morgul. Because I'm well ahead, but I am trying to do 50 quests in and around Mordor Besieged. And then we need to do the other parts for basically opening up the dailies within uh, Mordor Besieged. Uh, sorry, uh, Minas Morgul, rather. And then we've got on our other account, which Magic plays on, I've got a Ready to Valar um, Beyonding to 120 because uh, it was on sale, so I bought it half price, even though it was mentally priced anyway. Uh, so that's ready to do. And we've got Gazbo, who is our um, talkative berg. Right, fuck it. Just go straight in on this dude. Come here, you, a rog. Ah, see? Lawmasters here, he's thinking, yeah, baby. <laughs> So I'm helping him, he's helping me. So, that's one of the triplets. <laughs> right, Hell's Re of the High King as well. Is here. That Lawmaster is probably thinking, that's bloody handy. I'm expecting an IM any moment. Any moment. But, to be honest with you, with all my new gear, I should be able to smack the crap out of this lot. Yeah, two five raiders. <laughs> Bloodthirsty cheeseburger, a floating head indeed. Don't worry, it is attached to a body. Um, blood is still circulating, it's just currently floating. Uh, my floaty head. Floaty head. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of floatage. That's a trophy from Mox as well. Wow, this is another one. Fair enough. Uh, that's just a model berserker. Uh, there we go. Right, let's just get this barrier. Orc barriers. Barriers to orcs. There we go. Going through. So we're going to clear this area out anyway. Hopefully we will um, kick the crap out of things. Quite easily because we've got some nice gear on now. Which we've been holding back for in our account. Um, Orcish supplies and an Orcish sentry. Uh, so yeah, just remember when you do get some of the, the stuff from the Morgul Veil. Uh, some of the equipment is actually bound to account uh, so that's what i kept i kept hold of everything um until i basically got to the correct level which is like one two three i knew it was gonna stomp on me unbelievable i was about to dance in there just for shits and giggles <laughs> yeah but he didn't let me because i was in combat I didn't think it was very nice. I had an opportunity. Can I get up there? I was hoping I could get around and reach for that. Reach for the star. Holy shit, Snap! Vivian, thank you for the follow. I have some epic sax guy. See, I do have arms, I just haven't got a body. <laughs> and Bevian, thank you very much indeed. Oh, you. Of plenty, of viewers of plenty. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, anybody that's new to the channel, um, yeah, we do predominantly play Lotro. Uh, I do normally have a body, but because I'm wearing a green t shirt with the green screen, it gives me a bit of a floaty head. Um, but uh, yes, uh, and if you're new to the game of Lotro, that link that has just been posted by Keeper Elos, 
uh, you need to take notes, look at it, digest, and get things for free. Uh, because it is a fantastic offer currently from the developers at SSG. Uh, and now is the greatest time probably ever to get involved with Lotro. Now, I'm no way affiliated with Lotro. I'm just telling you how it is. Um, I've played the game for a long time, and it is indeed the best time to get involved. Hang on. Why am I not targeting that one? There we go. There we go. That's better. So poison. Boink. And they fall over. Right, let's get some orcish supplies. Supplies! Right, so we don't need the lieutenant, but we do need that. So we'll take that. Hey, this armor and everything is making such a difference. Whereas last night, I would have to be very careful. Uh, Bevian, to be fair, and like I say, I'm not being, um, I'm being very honest about it. Now is the, probably the premium time to come back to Lotro just because of, at the moment, if anybody's playing on a free-to-play account, they have access to every bit of content within the game, and I mean every single bit of content. Uh, that access will go away at the end of August, uh, because it's been ongoing for a few months. Um, just because of the you know, worldwide pandemic, etc. Uh, but you can grab a lot of the content for free uh, by following that link. And also some of the other content is available very, very cheaply uh, for 99 Lotro points. So we roughly worked out for about six or seven English pounds. So that might be about, say, $10 in US money. Uh, you can have access to uh, virtually all the content up to Mordor. Um, which is essentially where I am at at the moment. Um, the difference being is I'm in an old version of Mordor, uh, because it's called Mordor Besieged, because you time travel a little bit in this area. I'm just going to plonk myself up here just to show you basically where you can get to. So if you follow that link, which is lotro.com forward slash em forward slash friends forever, you get a code in there called Lotro Free Quest, and that will pretty much give you Every bit of content in Eriador. Um, it, also in Rovania, it'll give you all this up here. Um, certain things you, you will miss. You'll get content. Uh, when I say content, it's the quest packs that you will have access to. You'll have access to the area, but you won't have the content. Um, so you will, you'll you'll get to wander around, but you'll have no quest to do. Where you will get to eventually is here, which is the epic book, which takes you to the Waste. Um so we're following the story of the Lord of the Rings. We're, story, we're following how Aragorn, Gandalf, Sam, Frodo, Pip, Merry, Boromir, Legolas, Gimli, etc. All of the the book um, up to this point of the Morannon, which is the Black Gate, where we know, if you know anything about Lord of the Rings, is where pretty much Aragorn and the men of Gondor and Rohan tried to make the final stand against all enemies. Um, to draw out Sauron uh, away from Frodo, who was obviously in Mordor. Now, currently, you can, as a free-to-play player, if you're high enough level, get into Mordor. You can also get into the Mogul Vale, which is where Minas Mogul is. But these are the latest two expansions that came out. Uh, Minas Mogul came out last year. Uh, Mordor was, I think, the year before that. Hell of a lot of content, but you will not have access to that after August the 31st. However, you will be able to buy, and I will bring up the link because there's a hell of a lot to, to go through on this link. But using the Lotto Free Quest and you use it on your account, if you're a free-to-play account or even if you're a VIP that doesn't have the quest packs, you can still purchase these things. So using the coupon, you will get the quest pack for Central Gondor, which is obviously this region down there, East Gondor, West Gondor, Wildemar, which is obviously north of Rohan. Uh, ended with a region, all this area, area over here. Even in Forakel, the Eriador Bundle, the Misty Mountains, the North Downs, the Troll Shores, Lothlorien, Great River, Old Arnorian, the region pack of Far Arnorian, March of the King, Battle of the Black Gate, which is obviously where we said, which is the Morannon, Legacy of the Necromancer, which is, I believe, uh, Mirkwood, um, Where Dragons Dwell, up in Erid Mithrin, the Vales of Anduin, which is like kind of off to the uh, west of Erid Mithrin. Um, and then the Mists of Wilderland as well, which is like around the Vionicos, etc. 
Now that is an absolute bucket ton of content. And we roughly worked out that that would cost you approximately 11,000 Lotro points. Which was some ridiculous amount of money in real money. Now you can get that for free. Yeah, so free. Nothing, it doesn't cost you anything. All it does is you need to make an account and you need to redeem that code. Even if you try the game and you think, I haven't really got time for it at the moment. By the end of this month and you've got about three weeks to do it. Well, yeah, four weeks. Yeah, give or take. You've got four weeks to do it. Redeem that code because if you do not, you are going to absolutely kick yourself. And I say every time I go through this, September the 1st, I will guarantee that somebody somewhere will go, oh, I didn't redeem the code. And they will lose out on that content. They aren't going to extend it. They've put a cut off. They were supposed to only do it for a month. And then they've done it for about four, I think nearly five months now by the time it finishes. So grab it. Even if you do not play the game straight away, create the account, get the game downloaded, install, get into the game, redeem that code in the store. Lotro free quest. Even if you're a VIP and you don't have all them packs, redeem it. It will give you what you need. Okay, if you've already got it, it doesn't matter. Now, additionally to that, they, until August the 31st, they have released the expansion quests for basically the expansions. So we had, obviously, Mines of Moria, which was the first expansion that they released. Yep. This is Moria. It doesn't look massive, but when you zoom in, these are all smaller areas. Okay. So for 99 Lotro points, you will have access to the Mines of Moria quest packs. Now, when I say quest packs, that means literally just the quests. You'll have access to the actual physical environment to wander around. But until you buy the quest pack, you will not have anything to do in there. You'll be like, well, I can't do anything. I can only travel through it. So this is 99 Lotro points. Normally, these quest packs are probably about four to 500 Lotro points. You can earn Lotro points in game. I must stress that you can earn them in game. But it's a grind. So for 99 Lotro points per pack, you can get access to the quest. So there's Mines of Moria. There's the Siege of Mirkwood, which is obviously here in Southern Mirkwood. There's the Rise of Isengard, which is down there. And obviously into the Westfold uh, for what is Riders of Rohan. We also Helm's Deep itself is a little instance area. Then you have the Riders of Rohan... Um, instance pack so there's certain instances that you can get involved in in rise of rohan and also the ride of rise of isengard as well that has its own quest pack so redeeming the code lottery of free quest spending approximately or say ten dollars on the game would give you access to every bit of content that has been available since 2007 up to basically the edge of the moranon which is there the black gate so you get to there now, if you want to carry on past that point, you would have to buy the um, Mordor expansion. Okay, some it's I don't think it's been on offer yet, but I would think and I would be a bet if I was a betting man, I would say in the next few months that may go on offer uh, at some point because they know that there's a lot of new players come into the game because of the free offer and it's worked out perfectly with marketing for them that they're going to come in here and think, ah, now I'm stuck. I want to carry on into Mordor. I'll buy that, okay? So to get some money in, they'll put it on offer. Again, it'll probably cost lots of your points. I believe you... I, I don't know if... So don't quote me on this, but you might still be able to buy it. Holy shit, snacks! Mikey Geek, thank you for the follow. Have some epic sacks, guy. Yep, there's a hand. Ooh, with a dislocated hammer. Uh, yes, you can actually... If I look at the Lotro store... You can buy everything. And this is the Lord of the Rings market, which is store.standinggames.com. Um, you can actually buy from there the expansions as a digital download if you want to. I'm just trying to see. Uh, that's Isengard. That's Rohan. That's Helm's Deep. The standard edition of Mordor. Right. The standard edition of Mordor is $39.99 on its own. Uh, so that's still quite expensive, but it may go on offer. Um, now, that is a full expansion. When I say the quest packs, all you get is the quests. You don't get any of the cosmetics or any um, titles or anything such as uh, cosmetics or anything like that. It literally is just the quests. Now, to be honest with you, 
titles, cosmetics, and a few perks are nice, but I'd rather have paid 99 lottery points for, for the, uh, all, the, all the time. But I've paid full price for these. Uh, also, the standard edition of Minas Morgul, which is obviously the Morgul Veil, vale, which is the expansion that came out. That is $39.99. Um, obviously, I'm UK, so if we look at UK prices, uh, it's £29.99, so 30 quid, uh, and same for Mordor as well, so that's 60 quid. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't worry about those things until you've basically finished all this content, because there's a lot of it to do. Yes, free-to-play accounts are slightly restricted. You can bypass some of the restrictions by being a VIP, which is basically a subscriber um, for a monthly fee, which I'm not entirely sure how much it is. I never know this question. Uh, now, 12 months, you can buy 12 months game card for 80 quid. So, what's that? That's about 80. Uh, what's that, about 7 quid a month? Something like that? No, hang on, seven, seven, that's 84. Oh, yeah, it's just under, so like seven, seven twelves would be 84 pounds. So, yeah, nine ish dollars for the single month. So, if you bought the. Oh, all right, six pounds 66. So, that's if you buy the 12 month pack, but you can pay per monthly as well. Um, but it's just not showing on that one. Let's just see if it puts it at the bottom. Uh, and yeah, uh, yeah, 60 day game card, which is obviously uh, two months uh, as such, is £17.98. So if you do get into the game, maybe the £80, um, £80 one is a good deal. Um, and that gives you a full year. But then it's something that you can look at a lot further down the line. So don't worry about it now um, because you've got so much content to have a go at. So. Like I say, I'm not affiliated with Lotro. Uh, I don't do any streams for them or anything like that. I just know that the game's a very good place at the moment. We've got a lot of people watching um, in the channel. They're loving the content of Lotro. Uh, and for other people to get involved after seeing it is great for the overall health of the game. Um, yeah, so you can sub from within the game. Now, I can't. I can't do that on this account because I'm a lifetime account. I don't pay any subscriptions or anything like that because I paid a lot of money way back in 2007, 2008, um, which is very beneficial. It's paid itself over massively. The other thing as well to, to know on the VIP uh, thing is you unlock certain perks by being a VIP and they stay with you once you've unlocked them. You also, every month, earn 500 lottery points. That's 500 per month. Now, um, that's as long as you are subscribed. <laughs> so, obviously, within a, a month, uh, you're going to earn 500. Two months, you're going to earn 1,000. Now, if you subscribe for, say, six months, that's like 3,000 lottery points that you will have uh, that could go towards potentially paying for uh, a subsidized expansion. You know, maybe Mordor down the line, something like that. So... Who knows what they're going to bring out in the store. Uh, I'm sure that uh, they've got a lot of ideas for potential new players that have come in. Uh, so by all means, dive in, grab everything you can, and then enjoy. Uh, because the Lotro Law is pretty much the best storyline. Uh, Ipimus, do you think an engine upgrade is due? No, I do not think at all this game will ever get an engine improvement. They may tweak it but there won't be an upgrade it's not like they're going to all of a sudden change it to say unreal engine there's too much work involved with doing that um we have had this question come up before and, and personally i don't think they would do that it costs way too much to do and there is obviously another lotro uh, or lord of the rings mmo in development by um amazon i don't think they'd want to spend the money when they're trying to keep the money flowing to keep the game going so Visually, I could expect the improvements. Textures do improve over time. Characters do improve over time. Obviously, the performance of PCs increases generally over time. Now, some people are playing on very old hardware. Oh, here we go. It's 899 for one month, and this is in GB pounds. So you say add an extra digit on to get these uh, dollars. So three months is 21 quid, six months 41, and then a year is 79.99. So you can obviously see that a year is slightly more beneficial than a six months one you know i think uh, to be honest with you i thought that they have brought the year one down to 74. uh yeah the the amazon lottery it's not going to be lord of the rings online it's not and then just to reiterate on this it's going to be based in the second age which is way before 
the actual Lord of the Rings storyline. It's going to be based around before the time of Aragorn, before the time of Legolas. Well, Legolas will be around because he's an old dude, really. Uh, Frodo, Bilbo, and it, that do not exist. It's pretty much in the time that I am in now, which is Bordeaux, BC, Bordeaux? <laughs> Bordeaux. Bord of the Rings. Great comedy uh, version. Um, I'm basically in Mordor Besieged, which is when, after the battle, where, um, yeah, Bevian, exactly, the new TV series that they're producing, it's going to tie in with that. So, uh, not really that early, I don't think, Ippimus. I think it's going to be, because Silmarillion kind of jumps around quite a bit. Uh, it's going to be more around this time where they've had the battle with uh and the besieged mordor again so it's probably going to be around this time as you can see the second age uh, on the actual date on uh, above second age 3440 the lord of the rings books themselves are based in the third age okay so as you can go first age is way way back second age is you know mordor besieged time and then the third age is lord of the rings kind of hobbit time so that is all based around the second days. That's what we know of it anyway. We, there's no other details that have come out about it, but that's way off in the future for development. Uh, how do you do your CK House 1? We pretty much are looking at um, years worth still of gameplay. There, there's even going to be probably a new expansion for Lord of the Rings next year. So it's not going away anywhere soon. Um, and I'm certainly not going anywhere. Not Well, not all I know of, unless someone kidnaps me. No, okay. Um... So we've got plenty of content for to to actually play with uh, with the game. So, uh, uh, <laughs> CK, yeah, we're floaty head again. <laughs> so I've heard that it may be based around Numenor, so maybe closer to mid second days. That's based on the teaser map hat to, uh, that Amazon did that focused in on Numenor, quite possibly. Now, when you do Mordor Besiege, you to you do kind of get a little bit of uh, information with regards. People coming from Numenor, um, obviously it's after that's happened, you know, the fall of Numenor and how people came across from that, uh, Holy that land. Shit snacks. Uh, UK, no damn right. Have some epic sax guy. Thank you for the follow. Would you want kidnapped? Not really, Yin Yai, if I'm honest, because uh, um, I don't think anybody would pay the ransom. <laughs> They'd be like, keep him. Yeah, we don't want him. Keep him. So... Anyway, I hope that kind of explains a lot of things. I know we kind of went off on a bit of a tangent, you know, in this and the other, but yet yeah, to, to answer most people's question is the best time at all um, to dive into Lord of the Rings online. Um, servers are get, uh, busy, good deals on, plenty of content. Yep. If you want to buy a game that's, you know, is free to play, Sometimes you have to just enhance it a little bit. And that's what you do with buying stuff in the store, is you enhance your gameplay. You don't pay to win. Uh, you can never level that at Lord of the Rings. You pay to enhance your leveling. Um, so, And that's what we all do. Even though I'm a lifetimer and you know I've spent a lot of money years ago, I still spend a bit of money now. You know, I don't have to spend as much maybe as what a free-to-play player would do. But we kind of invested in the game way back in 2007 when it was launched. And we kind of put a lot of money up front and said, well, let's hope it works. Uh, have you read The Ransom of Red Chief? No, I've never heard of hmm. Interesting. Ransom of Red Chief. Right, let's crack on, because otherwise we're never going to get this Guardian to level 130. Oops, there we go. Back a route. We're going to take them on because we know where we're going to get across there. <laughs> no, I'm, I, no, sorry, Bevy, no, that's not available anymore. It, and a lot of people are annoyed by that fact. Um, let's just double check. Is anything need a reforge? Oh, that does. There's one. Right, so they need a reforge. And we actually don't need that. So we are going to reforge that. Doesn't matter what we do on this because it's not important. We're just leveling them to get item XP runes. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
Oh, we do need another Orc Lieutenant. I didn't realise we needed two of those bad boys. Right, anyway, let's take on this Troll Heaver. Come here, you. It will. You, you might be right there, Skybird. You might be right. Oop. That didn't work, did it? And there we go. So, um, it would be how any cadmium from Google goes. It is a fun... Ah, right. Fair enough. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. But, uh, thank you so much for everyone dropping in tonight. I know it's um, a bit of a mishmash of a, a, a stream, but... Um, not to worry, I'm just glad you're all here, and uh, if you do have any questions about Lord of the Rings Online, don't hesitate. Fire away. Look them out there. See what we can come up with. There's another lieutenant, which we do need. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, relinking. Relinking. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people do want to know a bit more about... The ins and outs of the freedom. Yeah. <laughs> it peaks and drops, peaks and drops. Because I do get hosted by. Ah, see, that was one of the bounties. So let's. Oh, we'll finish that. There we go. 200,000 for that. Right, he's another one of the named. Which we need. Come here, you. You big lump. I don't think so there we go, we'll take on this cartoon. Like that. Get a little bit of that on. Oh, he's knocked me out. Oh, shit. There we go. He's a bit of a beast, actually. 360k, isn't he? Like I say, I've kind of got enough health and morale and everything just to tickle things along. There we go. Oops, and a reforge. Wow. Uh, one of the other things as well, which is something that has just come about, uh, and I better mention it, is subscriber town services and perks. If you're a VIP, you are, get this now. It's only just come in in this last month. And basically, every two days, you can hand in a quest to a VIP vendor. And this allows you anywhere in the world to access a shop, your vault, your storage, your auction house, your legendary item reforge in combination, your wardrobe. And also, there's another one that you get, and it gives you this little heart that's just above, well, just above my head, actually, up here. Uh, out here. There we go. Oops, Marvel Warrior. Now, that is a little subscriber jug, which gives you kind of a little buff, which means you get no item wear whatsoever from combat, crafting, or anything. It's it's just an amazing bloody thing. Um, and also, it accelerates your crafting time, so that is another perk for being a subscriber. What more can you ask for? Right, let's get in here. Let's hit these two. Stun them. Oops. Put that into there. Right, so let's just do a quick reforge. We don't need that, but we do need that. So I'm done. Boink. Oop, he's back. Oh, balls. Didn't want to. If he buggers off so I can get past him. I don't actually want to have to fight him again if I can help it. Ooh. Casualties have fallen in the heist. Ooh, Hack survived. Lewis survived an original. Pond survived. There we go. Mm. Oh, and now we have the... Oh, Keepy survived. Keepy was a winner of the arena fight. Oh, balls. Not him again. Ah. I actually did not want to have to fight this dude again. He couldn't help it.
Uh, so remember, patch day tomorrow. Uh, they have released patch details for tomorrow. Um, hopefully, it will go smoothly. <laughs> um, but there's some changes ahead. It certainly looks like uh, corruption is going to be getting brought into the game a lot earlier than we are used to at some point because nearly every class uh, of character seems to be getting a uh, corruption purge skill a lot, lot early. So, yeah, that's the release notes. If you want to have a look, we did go through them earlier. We had a little read of them. <laughs> and it was um, rather, rather special. -y. Uh, and obviously, uh, Helm's Deep is coming to the Legendary servers, which is another VIP perk, because you get access to Legendary servers. And also, um, Rohan Housing is coming into the game as well, which hasn't been available until now. But if you want to purchase a house in Rohan, you will be able to as of tomorrow. Point. I think I just realised I haven't spent my... Points there. There we go. Gives us a bit of extra XP. Genius. Alright, so there's another lieutenant there. You need to kill him because we do need them orcish supplies. Heraldry. Lob that in. Is the Rohan housing stable? Let's hope so. <laughs> if it's not, we're going to have issues. Right, so there's two orc berserkers there. Just sure if we can get past them. Ooh. Just having a little dozy do your partner there, aren't they? Oh, that's handy. I've only pulled one of them. That is handy. Oh, that's kind of a go as well. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just thought when I pulled only the one, I thought I was all right there, and then no be able. Yeah. Right, nope. I'm gonna pull them all. Champion of Moch Shapat. Now, I don't know if I need to kill him now or later. But you know what? We'll kill him now. Hey, we didn't need to kill him. And it also gives us one of the rare mod or chests. There we go. He bestowed. And obviously the heraldry of the High King as well. Right. Blunt. But yeah, any questions, any questions at all that you do have, don't hesitate to ask because the always the bad question is the one that you don't ask and i'm sure there's plenty of questions that people need to ask want to ask and they might feel a little bit afraid to ask but hey we all gotta learn somewhere and uh you know even as a 13 year veteran of the game even i learn new things because people say oh didn't you know that no i never knew that yeah i think uh, and i always refer to it because it was one that i probably learned the most recent and that was shared storage which you can unlock and that is on an account basis. So even if you go to a different server, I'm on Evernight, but if I went to, say, uh, Arkenstone, for example, my shared storage is fully unlocked on that server as well. I didn't know that. Can I get that before he smacks me? Can I help? <laughs> Stunned him.
Mm -hmm. They say you feed off everybody else. What, what somebody else knows, um, you might not know, and uh, vice versa. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that have watched my streams and go, God, how did you not know that? And then you realize, yeah, I didn't know it because nobody's ever told me. And there's certain little nuances about the game that you don't always learn. So there's always things to learn. Never be afraid to um, put your hand up and say, I am a bloody fuck, is what I'm doing, kind of thing. You know, some people are a lot more in-depth about the game than others. And that's not a bad thing. Because you learn from those people. So never fear. Lotro is here. Yeah, that's cheesy. Carolina. Right, moving on. Let's get this one. Green Orcish supplies. Supplies! Yeah, I mean, the only other MMO that I'd played before Lotro in any kind of shape or form was Guild Wars. Um, I'd never touched anything like Ultima Online or anything like that. Um, it literally was uh, Guild Wars, and even that was slightly different. I uh, played a bit of Guild Wars 2, so that came out a lot later, but never really grabbed me did Guild Wars 2. But it's still a good game. I'm not, I'm not dissing it. It just didn't grab me like um, the first one did, because the first one to me was just amazing. I was like, wow, I can't believe... That there's all these people running around and they're real people it just blew my mind that that actually happens all right is there actually anything up there that i need to collect and there is is there heraldry heraldry mock shack raiders i don't think there is quite handy he, oh he's the, he's another one of the uh named isn't he Come here, you. Come on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Thank you. That's a That is the triplets done. Uh, I tried Guild Wars 1 once. Didn't understand that they were real people. Even when I caught all that they were others. I wanted to do everything solo. I didn't understand the concept of an MMO. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong. Uh, and people get may take this the wrong way. But there's nothing wrong with playing an MMO solo. But people say, well, it's a massive multiplayer. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to play with other people. You play alongside them. Doesn't mean it's like going to dinner at a restaurant. Doesn't mean you sit at the same table as everybody. They're there, but you don't have to eat at the same table. So. Ooh, there we go. Another finished there. Oh, because I don't really out. Just, it will come back on again. Well, we'll have a look at them there. You can always... You've got, you've got the app on your phone. No, but you can turn them off manually on the app. We'll start it out a bit. Don't worry about it now. Wag masters. Wag masters. Masters of the wag. There we go. So that's one wag. We need wag masters, don't we? We actually do need to go into here. It's a very tricky place if you're not careful. There we go. Just first. Furs of touchiness. I haven't got anything in the reforge, have I? Olga, how are you doing, my friend? Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. How are you doing? How's the world according to Polga?
Ooh, slop pile. What we need? Piles of slop. Oh, that's what I like to hear. It's been great. Great. Ooh, well, okay. Hang on. What level is he? Oh, 130. Yeah, I did not understand how he just walked through here and then just rain of thorns or rain of arrows and then just killed the wag and the pack master. And just for shits and giggles, he tagged that. Mm -hmm. Hey, he received a grade of a physics and chemistry national exam. I did, and it got very good grades. Well, well done. Say what? You can have a confetti win. You can have a random applause. Right? That's cool. Well done, Pulga. Good grades. There's always good grades. Well done, that man. Well done. Awesome. Two casualties have fallen in the heist. I survived, keep you survived, magic survived, and so did Hark. Who did we lose? Was it original? Who's sick here? Top learning. Indeed. Top learning, indeed. Right. Pack masters are always a bit of a pain, if we're honest. Everything spawns very quickly. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's always fake. Uh, <laughs> Bulga, don't worry. I'm not going to rub money off you. It's always geek coins, which uh, obviously you earn from watching. Uh, RPG gamer. I've never... Uh, sorry, I've played EverQuest and WoW EverQuest in my first ever. Oh, yeah, see, the some cracking games out there and it's the path that you take in gaming I didn't start playing any MMOs until Guild Wars 1 um, and then obviously when ooh, wags done uh, when I did uh, ooh, the what we've got warrior of the respected warrior ooh, deed complete uh, and respected in the oh, see that pack master just respawned already let's get out of this area ooh, right, we need to go in here though Andy. Right, let's just tickle ourselves into here, out of the way. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Do a little bit of reflex. There we go. We can get these slot piles. Ooh, nice pig's head there. Nice. Nice, actually, a pig's head. Lovely. Ooh. Thorin Oaken, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you, good to see you. Right, let's dive over here. Let's smack these for that. Give them a little bit of a headache. Give them a bit of a roundy about the head with a double axe. Down. Let's give me some slop. Slop. Slop a lopper. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, so it'd be exclamation mark gamble and then. Anything you kind of want to gamble, but just be very careful because uh, you can lose a lot of money. Excellent, excellent. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Right, so let's just... Uh, down that way. Yeah, if you want to fight in the free-for-all, which is just a, a little bit of funsies, cost you to enter. 100 geek coins to enter. And the winner takes all. Bit of a dust-up. Gladiator style. There we go. Da, 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 da. Yep, so you get to see how many hours you've watched and also how many coins you've earned. Oh, it's a good, uh, a bit of an eye opener. So, I'm just, well, I'm doing, well, I'm just getting beaten up by that. I'm just going to do, oh, I can't even say it's an FFA, you fool. <laughs> ah! Get it. I don't want to concentrate. Right. Get rid of that. Stab him with that. Let's get a little bit of that. Clout around the ear with that axe. Get rid of that. Red again. As if he's howling. Yeah. 
See, everybody's after the coins now. They're thinking, I'm going to earn some coins. So there's going to be a bit of a dust up in a second. Everybody's going to be fighting. Uh, whoa, Packmaster again. Fly me, Charlie. Uh -huh. Right, there we go. There we go. Tufted ears. Right, some more of that. Uh, right, so very, very soon that is going to start a free for all. If you want to get in very quickly, exclamation mark FFA. Otherwise, ooh, too late. We're into the arena. Combatants go head to head. A storm erupts, and RPG Gamer wins it. Boo, duffed up, and he wins 1,100 gig coins. The more combatants there is, the more the money in the pot. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Baruch Kazad. Kazad Aymenu. Obviously, that's in the intro uh, as well with the dwarf that um, splat one of the oxes. What it says. Some more slop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, ah, I see. It's. Oh, uh, yeah, has done it. Ah, you can't gamble more than 500. 500 is the limit, so just be very careful. You can double your money, or add a bit to it, rather. But you can also lose all that money, so be very careful. Obviously, if you've got a lot of money, you can do what you like with it. A lot of geek coins, but like I say, it's not real money. It's just what you accrue from watching the channel and whilst we have the, um, the bot running. Areg, can I show my stats? Yes, I will once I get somewhere safe. I'm kind of in a bit of a dodgy area at the moment. <laughs> hey, we, we only allow responsible gambling here, um, Olga. Responsible gambling. Uh, you kind of get to learn that you can only spend what you can afford. Pretty much right. Slot piles. Oh, God, I missed that. Slot pile there. Flip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wednesday night is going to be fun. If you do want to join us, uh, we're going to do our alternative evening. Uh, we will be playing Lotro after... Uh, what we normally do, uh, but we are going to be doing some uh, funsies. I'm sure everybody will be probably well, I'm actually surprised nobody's actually typed the, the word yet. Normally somebody does. <laughs> yeah, you can win a lot of coins. You can lose some coins. And this is all geek coins. Don't worry, I will dish out free geek coins. Uh, so nobody will be... That's the one. <laughs> that is the infamous one. Infamous one. So if you haven't already, actually, you will get a hint if you want to know what's going to happen. If you go to my YouTube channel uh, from a few days ago, there was a little video of what we did. Uh, but we're doing um, a slightly shortened version. <laughs> and to, yeah, that too. <laughs> yep, that's the one. That's the one. At least you know the command, anyway, what you will require. But we will go through all the commands. There's not too many, to be fair. <laughs> it's not like you need a total... Um, oh, Hackmaster. <laughs> as soon as it bloody spawns, this so oh, spawns so quickly. It's ridiculous. Now, normally, that's, that's not a problem if you're kind of wanting to kill them. I just don't want to kill them because I've killed all the ones I want to do. Come on, you bugger. Die! There you go. Thank you. Oh my god, I may do! I did. Mm. Oh, you doubled your money. Well done, that man. Well done. You gotta double your money or you lose it all. So, there you go. Right, let's just have a quick look at trolls in Path and Earth. We haven't done the Beast Masters because they're further over. Numenorians are further over as well. So the soldiers, they're way over there. Orders to intercept. 
put that one on scouting and that one's that one to do so we've done a few other ones we want to find the high king heraldry it looks like we've missed one back in the bloody camp oh crap uh, We need one more heraldry for this one. This will finish this up. Avoiding the packmaster. Aye. Now with Jenga, if you attempt to pull a block and you succeed, you get a hundred e coins. If you fail, the previous attemptee gets the coins instead. So you can actually still ah, see that's handy. Let's just can we get to there without pulling it? Yep, we can. Aha, just whip out the big pole. Black pole. Hello. Oh, look at that. Keep he does the slots and he's in for a 250 on the jackpot. Indeed, you lucky fucker. Nice. In for a heist. Heist is a good way to lose money too. <laughs> They can see you, uh, Pulga, but uh, there's a kind of a range of effects. So within a certain diameter, uh, you will not uh, pull enemies. Like this Mordor warrior here. I could stand right in front of him to a degree. Oh, no, he turns around a little git. Now, he, he'd obviously... <laughs> I'm still you, though, shit. Like, he can obviously see me, but that distance is too great. Obviously, if I stand here, still can't. But if I get to there, he's like, ah, I'm going to have you. And he's going to attack me. So, to be honest, if they didn't introduce that system into the game, nobody would be able to travel anywhere in the game. Um, to a degree, yes. Um, and depends on the mob as well that you're fighting. Some of them can spot you from a mile away. Not literally, obviously, but that's just a, a, a kind of reference. So it, they will see you from a, a further distance while it can be quite annoying. Right, to talk to Eato, uh, we need to do the heraldry. Oops, I've just removed that one. Hip shit. Sorry, heraldry of that. So bring that back up. Uh, set as quest guide focus. So what's the blue then? Sauron's presence. Oh, have I missed some in there? Oh no. Bugger. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, depending upon the colour of the monster, uh, like that there or there, they're two levels below me. If they were on level, they would be white, or within a level, they would be a white name. Then they kind of get more dangerous as the colours increase. So yellow, red, purple, I think is the highest one something ridiculous like that and then it goes obviously like down to green and then they turn grey if they're grey they don't basically aggro on you they're too low yeah if it is purple in fact I'm gonna actually see somewhere over here will be one of the um, Nazgul one of the nine which is a little run that you do with some of your friends kin etc because you can get some good quest rewards from it uh, as in i think you get uh, embers of enchantment you can do it i think once per week on a character but there is somewhere around here and i can't remember exactly where but he is around here somewhere uh the first nazgul you kill in the run because you always kind of start over here and then head east further over There he is. The Grim South Ron. Yeah, he's red. If he sees me, I'm dead. He's 2.9 million hit points. <laughs> I'm 135. It's not going to go well. Yeah, uh, the other thing is as well, you might go into an instance just in reference to Keepy's uh, little text there. In an instance, it doesn't matter what level you are above or below, you will pull aggro. So if I was, say, 20 levels, 30 levels above, you know, these these wags, I, and I was in an instance, which is obviously a preset determined uh, event, you would still pull the aggro on most occasions. 
Uh, as Bionic can fight reds, no problem. As level 12 Bionic fighting level orcs north of three, four or five of them, which is testing takes quite a bit of uh, Bionic survival. It is, it is insane. It really is. Uh, that's why I'm looking forward to my Valard, or soon to be Valard, Bionic, uh, which is called Claude of the Rings, by the way. He will be on stream at some point. So, yes, that is the kind of difference. Uh, that's the Grim Southron. One of the nine, he kicks out a shit ton of dread as well. Plus three dread, so... As you see, suppress it. Holy Bye. shit, snacks. Uh, oh, thanks, Chris. Eventually. I've known you for ten years, you twat. <laughs> it's, only just, it's only just followed me. I've known Chris Miller there for uh, over ten years. And he's only just followed me. Uh, don't worry, we, we know each other very well. So if I call him a twat, he, he knows what I mean. You twat. Delayed reaction. Absolutely. Pulling for funnies. Right. Um, yeah, I could. I'll tell you what I'll do. Is I will get on my wall steed. Um, I will probably get one shotted here. However, we'll see. Yeah, I'm doing it this for just shits and giggles here. Yeah. And I pulled a wag. Oh, shit. I'm dead. <laughs> he put a massive dot on me. Uh, you can see the green eye that came on him. This is why you come and do this at level 130 with a group. <laughs> so I couldn't get away. Now, it doesn't matter because I can revive for free here. And I've got no death penalty. I've got no damage because we've got the subscriber perk. Yeah, he's ignoring me. Want a present? Ooh, Chris, if it's one of them cock picks again, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of that, I've told you. And I'm not ignoring you. I just, you know, take my time to respond. There's a front view in the Geekbike Discord. Well, it's not this time it's your problem, but it's sure. Oh, actually. Uh, oh, hang on. Ah, video is unavailable. It's private. Ah. I did a recording. Yeah, yeah you'll have to unprivate it or send. Yeah, because that's not. Yeah, it's not showing. Uh, will you. In Wraith. Oh, uh, yeah. I was kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah. If you make it non-private uh, or, yeah, you can make it private, but you have to share, kind of share links. Um, I think he's in my Discord anyway. If you're not, Chris. Um, blah, 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 blah. Actually, let's have a look. My Discord. Fuck it. I'll put it through on the social link. That's easy. Uh, paraplegic Parrot. How healthy is Lotter at his current state? Currently, very, very well. It's very, very healthy. Um, we've had a lot of new players because there's a lot of new um, stuff you can do. Obviously, expansion last year. Free-to-play accounts have got an absolute plethora of stuff they can do at the moment because they've been given lots of free access to all the content. All the content in the game is currently free-to-play. And you can also get some stuff after the free, uh, free content ends and you can keep it for nothing, absolutely nothing. So... Um, yeah, absolutely superb. Uh, yeah, so that's the patch notes for tomorrow. There is going to be some downtime tomorrow. So wherever you are in the world, on the 4th of August, there is going to be some downtime. And if you want to see what you can get for free as a new player or even an existing player, there you go. Follow that link, lotro.com, forward slash en, forward slash friends forever. Obviously, that's in the English language. Um, you will get... Uh, a lot of free content if you click the link and follow the instructions. Right. So we've done that. Uh, scout path, Denis. Uh, fallen soldiers, elf whites are way over on that far side. That's another bounty. Bounty happen. Uh, rare model treasure. Yeah, that's handy. That can all go in the vault. That can all go down there. That can all go down there. Uh, uh, yeah, Chris, I actually don't think you are in my um, Discord. You need to follow that link I put through. Noob. Uh, right, so we need to speak to Tarandil and Eata. Back at Adam Bell. Yep. Uh, avoiding everything as we go as well. Uh, if you do a nine run, which is basically going around the whole of Mordor be seized and killing 
all the Nazgul, which you can do uh, in a group. Uh, definitely, whatever you do, you need to set your war steed up so that you have the sacrifice skill. Now, that means that your war steed takes no damage while it's active. You are protecting it because you can see my war steed only, war steed, rather, only has 3,000 morale. You will get one shotted off your horse in most occasions. Um, so what you do is you put that on and then you take the damage. Now, I've got 135,000 health. So you can see. Uh, how much the taunts countdown will be... Uh, well, it depends. Uh, on the Guardian, if we look at the Guardian, the challenge cooldown is now reduced by the bellow, bellow trait. So if you traded there and then there's a challenge set cooldown bonus has been, been reduced to six seconds. So if you have it traded, it really will be a lot, lot uh, quicker. Uh, so it's going to take some figuring out. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, ooh, I don't know if I like that. Ooh, I don't know if I like that, you know, so... But yeah, it depends on the taunts because obviously various captains are getting the taunts changed. The Guardians have obviously got a tweak as well. So um, have a look at the patch notes. Try and digest them. <laughs> um, we do think that obviously looking at those notes, the captain seems to be getting a lot of changes more than anybody else to a degree. Um, so whether they get some form of um, trait reset... So if you may want to uh, actually take, excuse me, take a copy of your trait tree so you know what you've got to set up. So like do that and you can do this within the game. And look at that. There's Polga with the, uh, that's, that's the hat for the event night. That's my cowboy hat. I could do this. I could do the uh, cock hat. But all the VI penises. <laughs> I might actually put the cock hat on. Put the cock hat on for the event night. Mm. Yeah, rather than the cowboy hat. And we might do floaty head as well. Bit of floaty head. Yeah, floaty cock. Floaty cock head. Wow, for VI penises. Uh, right, so anyway, if you want to know how to take a screenshot, some of you won't know, press... F11 on your keyboard as long as you've got it and it will take a screenshot and it'll save it to disk and that is in my documents Lord of the Rings online and then look for your pics in there uh, uh, I don't play Mistral, but does all versions of the skill piercing cry now uh, now immediate doesn't have a cooldown no what that what that basically means uh, lol is that it will activate straight away there is no um um, what does it call it? Uh, like activation time. There's no. Oh shit! What the hell does it call it? Uh, no. Cast time. That's it. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of what the actual like fast melee skill. Uh, yeah, induction. That's it. Uh, that was it. Played it see thirteen years. Duh. Couldn't even think of the word. Uh, so yeah, if you want to take pictures of your trait tree because the things may get. Changed, so just take a picky of it. F11 uh, will take it, and as you can see, be well, you probably see me. I say behind me, it's actually through me now. Through me, underneath my neck, down here somewhere. Actually, no, here. It'll tell you where it saved it, kind of screenshots, but it is in your my documents. <clears throat> and we used to cancel previous skills, so yeah, if you want to chuck that in because something's animating, yeah. All right, let me drink. I'm still waiting for that present off Chris. Although I, I, I'm almost a bit dubious when he when he gives me presents because I don't, I don't know in what shape or form they're going to take. <laughs> right. Anyway, right. We'll speak to Tarendel. I told you I wanted for nothing, friend. Talk to King Isildur at Adambel. Mm, now, obviously, Isildur. We know who he is. <laughs> I thought he'd be drinking wine or something like. <clears throat> Not on a school night. Pull guy, I've got I've got work in about uh, blah, blah, blah. there. I'll be getting up for work in seven hours. Hmm. <laughs> Sadly, but at least while I'm at work, well, most of the time I'm at work, they'll be patching the servers. Not all of them. 
Do not encourage my sons in this foolishness. Right, there we go. So talk to the shade of Isildur uh, at Adam Bell. So we are talking to guard. the original Isildur in real life. Yeah, but also we need to speak to the shade who is going to appear right next to him. There he is. It's the shade of him. Don't see two Isildurs too often. Oh yes, race change. So if you have, say, an elven hunter, but do you know what? You want to change that to a manhunter, you'll be able to purchase a race change token. Well, they sold them, mate. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, looking at Tarandil as well, he's not as tall as this will do. He is quite tall. <clears throat> Indeed, this will do. Did have an, a ring to it. He is quite tall. I mean, you think there, like, say for example, okay, I'm stood there. My top of my head comes up to, uh, you know, just his chest, bottom of his chest. I go stand next to the, one of these dudes. Yeah. I'm nearly at the top of the chest. So he was a bit of a big dude, really. He was about, I'd say he's about at least a six foot four, six foot five, if not taller. I mean, I don't know how tall that actually, to be fair, uh, spam is. He's looking more like about a three foot four, but you know, can't be everything. Let's not be sizest. <laughs> well, let's talk to the shade. Alas, talk to Isildur. Yeah, bloody blah blah. And find a create a whetstone. We need sharp blades and sturdy armor if we are to be prepared. Yes. Ah, uh, should take five for me? Has it changed? Ah, uh, wait. Right, so we need to speak to Eater as well. It's supposed to have been seven foot tall. Eh? Well, I may be. I, I, to be fair, I could have been about four foot five, but you know, something like that. Yeah, I need to create a quite a wet stone. Please, Waterwick. Right, so there's Cylinder, who's an idle soldier. Some days since last, my sword was sharpened. I have uh, orders for you, soldier. And collect Listen the missive. Well my orders. There we go. And a little missive. So that means we need to take that to Calibor. Let's take it back. Uh, which instance is this one? Now come by Sildar I'll call you. Uh, right. Uh, it doesn't even. Uh, uh, that's not really a poll, but there you go, Polgar. Uh, uh, this is. It is a kind of instance, it's just that what you go into when you do the Black Book of Mordor, which obviously you start after you've been into Mordor, kind of earn it, and then you end up going all the way up to um, Erin Mithrin. Yeah, and you kind of get it from the Vales of Anduin. Uh, when stay. Oh, right, so it's kind of a question. Now come by Isildur, I call you. Um... It's a challenge. Uh, the actual instance. Oh. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I was going to say the Dead King, which would be. Uh, not North of Thain. It's before you actually get to. When you're in Gondor, isn't it? Is it Western Gondor? At. Uh, when you come the Black Root Vale, the Stone of Varek. Ah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, something. It's around. I can't remember where it was, but uh, yeah, that's a hell of a question to ask somebody at eleven o'clock at night. Oh, I mean, after the dead. Hmm. Right. So we're doing that. We're doing that. Carrying on round. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pelagia or Pelagia, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Othangroth is a bit of a bitch. <laughs> I will not spurn the gift. Nice. The old great barrow. Yeah. Probably one of the first group contents that most people actually went into was in there. 
벌써 띠띠띠띠 Thank you, friend. I will make use of the weapon. What have I missed? Why have I missed one when I've been around the other side? Strange. A bit strange. Actually, let's have a quick look at the deed log because, and you may think, what are you doing? Uh, uh, we want to look at Mordor and then quest of Mordor besieged. Right. So I've only done 18 of 50. So I need to do quite a few more. Oh god, it was Vemesil hidden behind the bloody banner. That's why I didn't see it. I talked to Orna here there, or Orna here there, but I didn't see Vemesil. What a mucker. Thank you for the whetstone and my father's warning. Though I needed neither. Mm hmm Da, da, da. Yes, it was in yeah. Yeah, it was. It's right at the end when you've kind of defeated uh, them all as you've gone through uh, Pelagia, for instance. Um. The tedium of the hours is a dangerous foe for an army at rest. Train with us. Oops. Right. Right, time to get off burger and start fighting some things. Come on, you. It is the command of the High King. Let us begin. Let us begin. One. I am ready for you. I am ready for you. And I'm ready for you. Kick your ass. <laughs> Yeah, RPG, I think it was just a, um, a spelling error. <laughs> I think we know what she meant. There we go. Uh, engaged in spirited combat. Uh, oh, let's go talk to Vemma still again. I like how they still, uh, they still show up. Again, as we go. Hiding behind the bloody thing behind the banner. <laughs> it was only a bit of fun, my friend. Give Magaldor a whetstone. There he is. My old dear. Very important component of I will take a whetstone, and gladly. But my own model. sword could use the sharpening. Oh, see, that's nearly up to the level of um, the Mogul Reclaimer's hardened chestplate, which I'm wearing, but not quite. Quite. So, um, sadly, I won't keep it. I will sell it. It is no accident that brought me hither. Right, so find the location east of Adam Bell that Magaldir wishes to scout. Defeat foes of the Great Alliance in Path Deneith and talk to Magaldir on the northern slope of Amon Amarth. Marvellous. This is obviously chapter 11.6 of the Black Book of Mordor. But we do need to go to Echad in Edil. As you do. And where did I buy the hat? It, I think it was Amazon. I think it was Amazon. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it was uh, Amazon, I think. Keepy. Keepy was the only one. I mean, now we know where the snitch is, don't we? Mm. Only one to survive, eh? Snitcheroo. Telling you, something fishy about that keepy. The amount of times he gets away with that. Shocking. Snitchy mm -mm -mm. snitchy pants. Uh, 
Up we go. Oh, we go. Bundling through. We'll hand in the missive. Kellerborn. Built with a C. Pronounced as a K. Like carrot. Like. Ooh. Yeah, that was a four letter word. <laughs> um. Crap, yes. That's the one. Listen well, soldier. Listen well, soldier. Right, so we've got some more quests on the go, haven't we? We've got 40, 50 on the go. Fallen soldiers, captured and tormented, and trolls in past and east, Easterlings as well, Black Numenorians, and Ang Ko, or Ag and Ko. He's further over, if I remember rightly, to these. So as you can see, we're kind of moving away from Alandor area. We're moving towards Path of Denath. Uh, Amon Fween as well. We're in and out of there like a fiddler's elbow. Moving across to Dolneg, Emindwyr, and then into Baradur itself. But obviously, this is just a Mordor besieged part. You do go into all the areas of Mordor itself. Because um, this is just one section that they put in there. So you start off in Udun. Obviously, once you've managed to get through the Moranon, uh, the Black Gate, which is tied to an epic book quest, uh, through to Dora Marth, uh, Talas Rui. Now, this is a bitch of an area. However, it's very good for leveling. Uh, spidery area of Lingris. Uh, it is full of bloody spiders. Um, Nairband, Oradria, or Oradia, rather. Uh, good places to level. I actually, for the first time, went into Nargroth on this character. And... Luckily, having all the subscriber boosts where I could actually reforge, etc., was an absolute bonus because otherwise I'd have had to keep going in and out, in and out of there all the time. Uh, and it took me about two days to clear through that with all the quests, etc., because it did take you a little while. And that's a very good place. It's huge, huge castle. Great. Well done. I was surprised it doesn't get used more, if I'm honest, uh, because utilizing a lot of the areas several times so you have to go through the kind of content uh, over and over again but that's a really cool place to go into obviously Argonath, uh Seragos, and then you're back into Dortmouth with Baradur which is now obviously collapsed because of the fall of Sauron uh, but obviously when you go into Mordor Besiege Baradur is perfectly fine because Sauron's holed up in there just biding his time biding his time uh, right, boys and girls, I'm actually going to have to stop there because it's quarter past 11 here and I need to get some sleep before work tomorrow because I've got to be up in... Yeah. By the time we get to all ready, it'll be about six hours sleep and then I've got, got to go to work. And then, uh, obviously, servers, patches and everything else uh, tomorrow. We will be on tomorrow night because we want to take a look at the uh, things. I do recommend everybody, if you... Um, technical term for it <laughs> if you do have any of the characters if you follow the um the links that keep you put through earlier for the content updates i'll just copy them uh so that people can see uh into there if you do have any characters that are in there uh that are getting an update just be careful maybe take a little photo screenshot of your trait setups on those characters if you're not too bothered you can do it off in the top of your head that's fine absolutely fine um but uh, just be mindful there is going to be a patch tomorrow and yes last relink of the night from keepy lotto.com forward slash em friends forever if you do want to get involved in the game uh, i still need to redeem that on my free-to-play account we did play a bit of free-to-play yesterday it was sunday yesterday wasn't it yeah um so we we do need to to uh redeem that and as well if you are a uh for the server downtime as well you need to redeem thank you gift. All one word as well. Uh, which was, you need to redeem that in the store, which gives you some nice things because of the server downtime recently because there were some issues. So, uh, Harkoon and Annie Ramos, CK House One, Faithless, Homely Cow, Jimmy White Crow, Yinya, Keeper of Lost, Lewis the Bob, Magic and Sparkle, Mrs. Thing. Thank you, my dear, for those wonderful gifted subs again. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, Keepy, obviously, gifted the sub as well. Uh, Bevian for that sub as well. Who else? Uh, Valad and uh, TD for the channel follow. Professor Rook for the channel follow. Bevian, obviously, for the channel follow. Mikey Geek for the follow. 
Uh, UK, no damn right for the follow. And Miller say, my friend Chris, who's a bit of a twat for not following me after how many years of streaming. Um, thank you for that as well. Um, Nettle Brew, Original Hunt, Pulga Mechanica, uh, Rowan Tharn, RPG Gamer 2000, Dewey Kitty 555, I didn't see a Terrick, Aurora Ember, Bevian, Cacklife, uh, Ella Rune, Flint Town, Goofy Old Lady, Liquid Gels, Lurks, Max, WDN, Meatball, ooh, Milithia, Moonori, Panhandler, Prankcher, Rimasino, Ski0624, Skybird, uh, VK, Virgo Pros, uh, Wackerval, and Hunters, SAF. Oh, God, that's elevated. We'll call it SAFC. <laughs> uh, we will be back tomorrow. We may still be floating. Floaty. Floaty. Uh, but, um... Oh, so you the thank you gift can be got again if you got it before the August 1st. Ah, yes, because they cocked up. They expired it on the 31st of July. <laughs> and then they had to reactivate it. So that was very handy. If you've already redeemed it, try and redeem it again. Nice. So uh, there you go. Yeah, the accidentally. So thank you very much, boys and girls. We will be back. We will be back on more spam and everything else. Uh, but so many of you wonderful people, thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm glad that you follow the channel. We'll be back again soon. Uh, thank you indeed. You can all have a dick note. You can all have a round of applause. You can all have a yee -haw. And I am going to say adieu. So be good, people. You can't be good. Be awesome, TDFN. Bye bye for now.